Hello chat and welcome. Good to see you all tonight. Uh, I see some people resubbing, of course. Uh, I appreciate it. Daddy, uh, sh ooh, Shaddy DV with seven months. Thank you. And uh, that I see another Twack with 11 months. Thank you guys. Uh, and Fern the Dev with 13 months. Thank you. Um, really cool of you guys. Uh, of course, we're uh, in day one of the hardcore balls to the wall fundraiser for direct relief Ukraine. Uh, I put a notification in the Discord, and I can see that some of you. Uh, okay, so it, it, I thought it said it says come slave. Okay, I thought it said come slave. Like you guys are are putting little. Uh, like, I don't know, letter emojis, like, underneath the notification. And I thought it said, come slave, but it turns out what you guys were trying to say was, uh, come. You were trying to, and then say, you were trying to say, like, Slava Ukraine, and there's a Ukrainian flag. But here's what I see instead. I see come, Ukrainian flag, and then sla Slava. Uh, that, to me, looked like, 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 come slave. I'm just, uh, just saying. I didn't mean, the heart was in the right place. And thank you. Totally legit tech support. Thank you for 13 months. And Rev with the raid, bud, thank you, of course. And thank you for helping us make this wonderful thing happen. Adoptive parents, thank you for two years, ma'am. You can see on your screen that we have raised over $16,000 uh, for this direct relief charity so far, which is just bananas guys and i mean b-a-n-a-n-a-s am i right god that is bonkers no seriously <laughs> guys thank you so much for making this possible dj electric with four months thanks i just want to say a few things before we we get going uh, about what we're what we're doing here um direct relief is a charity that provides humanitarian aid for people uh, in crisis. You know? Point of view at 20 months. Thank you, bud. Now, what do I mean by that? Humanitarian aid is different from lethal aid, right? Humanitarian aid is it, it, it's, it's food and medical supplies for people who are fleeing the conflict zone. Right? So you, you got, like, primarily women and children and elderly people. Uh, they're, they're, they're trying to run from the war zone because, uh, you know, there's bombs falling on their houses. Like, it's very literal uh, war zone. It's really easy to understand that. Um, but some people are, are struggling with it. It looks like they're... they're um, you know, they're saying, I don't want to support a war! Hey, you're not supporting a war, um, you fucking moron. You, this is for, again, it's for medical supplies and food for people who are escaping a conflict zone. Uh, I'm not, I'm not sure if there's any other way to say, so, so, yeah, cause, uh, hold on. So, some people are, are unhappy with, um, with what we're doing. Uh, let me just thank the people who are subbing and resubbing. Mafia, thank you, bud, so much, man. Uh, Harry Ori, Belgdor, thank you guys. Uh, Demented Miss, thank you. Um, yeah, pe people are, are just having a hard time with it. Um, if you can't, if you can't understand that this is we're we're doing this to help people who are not non-military combatants escape bombs and explosions and then death and bullets then i i don't know how else to explain that to you it, it's it's not lethal aid it's humanitarian aid maybe maybe google uh, the definitions of those words uh also riff hawk and falsepi thank you for the resubs guys uh can i donate to yemen too maybe maybe next time um not ruling anything out maybe next time for sure uh but for, for, for right now we're gonna we're raising money to help uh, Ukrainian refugees, um, and it's a it, it's a great a great cause. I'm 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 serious. Maybe next time. Like why not? Yeah. I mean I don't know. I but one one thing at a time, guys. I mean, um, we're doing the best we can, right? With what we got. Um. So please use the <clears throat> donate link. 
uh, you're gonna see it on your screen. I keep saying that. You're gonna see it in the chat. Smelly socks with 11 months. Thank you. Um, there it is. Uh, you can donate right there. Uh, Tiltify. It's it's you know it's it's all on the up and up. We're not going to. Uh, we're not gonna take all the money and 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 and, and fucking. You know when I when when me and Joel were, were first talking about this. He was like, here's what we're, we're going to tell them. Here's how we'll raise a bunch of money for, for Ukraine refugees. We'll tell chat all the money that they raise. Okay. We will take it. And we will go to Las Vegas and put all of it on red. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now he's joking, obviously. <laughs> okay. And then they could have double the money. Now he was joking. And I was like, fucking. <laughs> <laughs> The point is, we literally can't do that, okay? Because it goes directly to the charity. I never touch the money, okay? Joel never touches the money. No, None of us ever even see the fucking money, okay? So it just goes directly to this charity, and they send it again. They buy food and medical supplies for people who are just having to leave their fucking homes, guys. It's, it's uh, I mean, imagine being in that situation. Like, most of you can't. I can't. Like, I have, would have to leave where I live. Where am I going? Where am I going? What am I doing? You know, they're, they're, they're spreading out across Europe. They're spreading out across the world. Uh, they've and, and they're fucking broke. They had to leave their jobs. They had to leave everything they own. You know, I mean, what? so this is, this is what this charity is for. It's for helping these people. It's not for guns and bombs. Again, parasitosis, urban phoenix. Guys, thank you. Um, And Dio, thank you. Um, all right. Now, that's, that's, so that's, okay, that's what we're doing. And thank you for the, for the, um, the donations, guys. Uh, yeah, it's, it's 1,600, I have to squint to read that because I don't have it on my screen. I have it in, in OBS. All right, so what the, the goal was $100. I just put the goal there for, you know, whatever, um, just just because you have to put a goal in there, right? Uh, Sly Walrus, thank you for the sub. Fresh Freak, guys. Okay. Um, and listen, again, if you want to give me money, I do appreciate it. But do it later. Tonight, put it into this um, into this charity. Um, all right. If, you, if, you, you, if you're doing both, then, then thank you. Okay. Um, but if you only have a little bit, just for tonight consider putting it in that in that uh in that link right there that tiltify link um okay so we got some sonic fanfics they are bad uh you're saying why mike why why are you reading sonic fanfics why are you doing that what is the point of doing that what is it uh they're terrible right well sometimes i read these fanfics uh some people tend to like it i don't know uh, if you also may remember, <laughs> sometimes I use this this model, this this VTuber rig. Uh, some people tend to like it. Uh, we haven't seen her in a while. I actually have been using her because she pisses people off, but I'm using her tonight because oh, fuck it. Um, if you don't like her, you actually, you, you could just minimize this because there is no visual element to this. I'm literally, I'm literally just going to read fanfics. So if you don't want to look at this bitch, you can just easily, you know, hide. You could just hide this bitch. You could just listen to this. It's, a, it's, it's an audio experience, right? Um, <laughs> hey, Terco. The first stream I saw of yours had that VTuber model and I still subbed. <laughs> Again, I don't, I don't use it a lot. I'm not a, I'm not a, a, a VTuber. I'm not like a prolific VTuber. But somebody, a community member, made this for me, and, and because I, at one point, I had said, wouldn't it be funny if I had like a stupid anime rig, and there was like, you know, the Gabagool, I'm walking here voice coming out of an anime rig, and somebody was like, yeah, it would be funny, and they made it, and that's that's basically where she comes from that's that's what this is and i was like fuck it you made it i'm gonna use it whatever i did say it'd be funny so i'm just gonna go for it 
add the VTuber tag? I'm, I'm, I have the 3D printer tag. That one's more important. I don't think we're going to get to the VTubing. We are going to get to the 3D printing, though, for sure. Um, at some point tonight. That, by the way, that's that's when I should. Um, dude, your your body is a 3D printer for poop. Uh, Gardison with 15 months support. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, wouldn't it be funny if her chest was huge? <laughs> yeah, it sure would be. <laughs> you know, it'd be funny if her eyes were huge. Figure fantasy, download now. <laughs> figure fantasy. Just kidding. This is not a figure fantasy stream. This is a shitty YouTube uh, YouTube blah, blah, blah. shitty Wattpad Sonic fanfic reading stream. But as you. I was gonna do I was gonna do a thing before we get we get going, but you know, let me let me get let me just dive into the first fanfic because there's been much ado. We have to read this without f uh, further ado. No more ado. We're just gonna get into this. All right. Uh, it's called Shadami, <laughs> a little insane. Now this is um, you know, uh, Shadami means it is a someone wrote this fanfic probably. Not an not adult. They wrote this fanfic because they wanted to ship Sonic and Amy, and the contraction of their two names is uh, Shadami. Sorry, Shadow and Amy, and they contracted it to Shadami. No, there's no penis in this art. In this art, so I don't even want to hear it. Okay, I don't even. I don't even want to hear it. Hello, 3D printer enthusiast. I did 3D print. You missed it. You should have been paying attention. You weren't paying attention. Okay. <laughs> There it is. Okay, I 3D printed again. Now stop asking. It looks like there's a PP under the skirt. There's no PP, guys. Is there a PP? Let's just not look at it. Okay. Um. Oh, and also, it's a little insane. So this is <laughs> written by somebody named Weirdly Demented, right? So you know this is going to be handling the sensitive topic of mental illness very carefully. Uh, setting. At Amy's house. All right. Amy, you make really good sandwiches. Thanks. Well, I gotta go for a run, so see ya. Okay, bye. Uh, he's always running this guy. Oh, also, this one has a, a lot of pictures because I know that words can hurt chat's brain sometimes. Uh, Amy whispers to herself, I hope he will love me one day. Sonic running. Stop, Sonic! Whoa, wait, hang out. Who's that? Pajama man, thank you, buddy. Who's that? Whoa, is that cream? Custom, it says. Uh, yes, Officer Natasha. Do you have any idea how fast you were going, sir? Uh, Natasha, I need you to stop this villain, Sonic. Exe. This is what he looks like. It's a police sketch. Uh, he's killing people for no exact reason. So you need to look for him in Jump City. All right. Jump City. 21 Jump Street. Okay. Bye, Officer Natasha. Takes out phone to call Tails, Amy, and Shadow. Wow, what a vomitous fucking image this is. Holy shit. <laughs> I like the economic storytelling. Yeah, I mean, some people would look at this and they would say, <clears throat> this is indicative of a lack of talent. But I would tell you that this is, this is creative genius. This is pioneering. This is a frontier we're looking at here. Um, okay, team, come on, assemble. Beats and puts Sonic.exe in jail. Oh, hooray! The end. Boy, that um, that escalated quickly. Uh, I mean, I just kind of. <laughs> I guess that's it. <laughs> I guess that's it. Sonic.exe. What? I don't know. You'll never get away with this. I will come back. I am God. You are like ants trying to kill God. He's got a he's got a God complex, right? Esperata cat, thank you, buddy. 
Um, he's a little bit of a narcissist, this guy. Sonic. Yeah, okay, said sarcastically. Everyone goes home except Amy and Sonic. Okay, bye, son. Sonic grabs Amy's arm. Well, it's Sonic grabs Amy's arm. Right, because she's saying that. Like, you see how that how that works? Huh? What is it, son? Sonic kisses Amy. Sonic refuses to allow Amy to speak in full sentences. And I'll be honest with you guys. I don't blame him. Like, I don't blame him at all. Uh, why are her eyelashes so big? Just shh. <laughs> the proportions are just not great, but that's okay. We're not here to shit on people's art, guys. We're here to shit on people's writing. All right, try to keep that in mind, okay? Be, be, be nice. The fuck happened to Knuckles? Avengers. Oh, my BB, a classic legend. Don't hurt him, I'll strangle you. Well, dang, that was quick XD. Yeah, the... The, uh, the goodies are in the comments on most, most chapters. Uh, I thought Sonic.exe can teleport, distort time, glitch, get power from the souls he killed, never dies, and calls himself God. Kawaii! Kawaii! I don't know anything... Shut up, J-Chan. I don't know anything about Sonic.exe. It's, it's some kind of creepy paste, right? Someone in chat said, I left to go take a shit during Reb stream and came back to Anime Girl Mike. What is happening? Did you use the 3D printing tag before you went to the bathroom? All right, this says crushed. And there's an there's art here, but it's got a caution sign on it. And it's just a big red like is it like Knuckles cock? Like what like what is this? Like why can't I like why am I not allowed to see what this is? I'm not clicking it. I don't even care what it is. I'm not- I'm not gonna click it. Alright. Crushed. Fucking Knuckles- Knuckles dick flattening sesh? Amy's narration. Guys, I can't do that voice all night. I'll do it here and there, but I can't do it all night. It'll fuck up my throat too much. Pretty much me and Sonic were dating. I was in high school, and so was he, so I became much more popular now that I was dating Sonic. My best friend Sally Acorn was always there for me. Oh, you're just using him, you bitch! <laughs> she always was a study person, but it didn't matter. NERD! After school. Sally. Well, I gotta go study, so bye! Bye, Sally! Bye, Ames. I gotta go home early today. Okay, bye, Sonic! Son Amy. Okay. Oh, that's so romantic and tender i'm gonna I'm, I'm i'm gonna i'm gonna shart i'm gonna i'm gonna 3d print <clears throat> amy leaves well i should go too i'm gonna brown amy goes home and does her hw bush hmm i feel like going to the park goes to park wait who are those two isn't that sonic -ku? sonic -ku and sally what are they they both kiss Called it? Yo, who the fuck is the genius in chat who knew that that was that that, that was gonna happen? Who said who? Dirk Trash? Dude, what do you what do you fucking like snort the spice melange that makes you prescient? Are you like a fucking guild navigator in the Dune universe? How did you know that this was gonna happen? Yo, teach me your secrets. What the fuck? How did you do that? How the fuck did you do that? Jackie, uh, ooh, thank you for the bits, man. Uh, G, uh, hey, Cheesy, Sally is the home wrecker in these fics. That's true. That's true. She tends to be, she tends to be the home wrecker almost every time. I don't know, I don't know why, like, the fan base just, just, like, hates her. I think I'm, I'm gonna tell you why. I, I have a theory about that. She's never been in a video game, as far as I know. She's only, basically, she's from the Saturday morning cartoon and the Archie comics. So they use her, like, when they need, like, a bad bitch. Because, like, dude, if, if you were to use, like, Rouge, people would be like, wait a minute, Rouge can't be a homewrecker, because I love Rouge. 
That's my theory. Actually, yeah. Prelude. Thank you for three months, man. Does she lay eggs? I actually didn't mean... I didn't mean to go there. I, I didn't... I wasn't trying to go there at all. But, but yeah. Alright, so they both kiss. Like I, I guess that means they're kissing each other, but that's phrased oddly. Amy starts crying. Look at... <laughs> Dude, that's actually not rain. That's just the fucking the the nut from like everybody who was like reading this fanfic. Like that's they need an umbrella. Look, you can see it doesn't look like rain. It just looks like straight up cum. Like it's very thick. Because everybody who saw this was like, wow, that's so hot. Dude, why does Amy have fucking nipples, man? Stop. What the fuck? What? Why though? Why? Why give Amy nipples like that? She also had some, like, significant. You look at this while I scroll back up and look and look at that again, just for science. Yeah, that's insane, dude. Like, that's come on, that's crazy. What the hell, man? That's big boobs, lots of cleavage, and nips. That's fucking. Come on, guys. Come on. Anyway. We, we have a full schedule for you guys. It's a little bit later tonight at 11.30 p.m. Eastern. Uh, Joey Vsauce, the fecal funny fella, is going to be doing something very special, I think. I think. I, there are little birdie told me there have been rumblings. Rumblings. That there might be a little, a little bit of a, destruc a destruction happening. I don't know if it's for sure. I don't know if he was... He was trying to. He was trying to. Okay? And I know he told you guys that. He was trying to. I don't know if it's if he, if he got it to work, but he's trying to. He's going to 3D print uh, a hot nug. And then uh, tomorrow, we're going to do some tabletop simulator uh, on Rev's channel. Uh, and then I'm going to do the Bug Snacks DLC. I, I have a whole fucking story about that but we'll get to it later let's just say uh, epic games can eat my fucking asshole let's just say that leave it at that and i think afterwards uh, i'm gonna I, I would like i don't know if we're gonna get to it but i would like to do i would like to do some geoguesser duels with joel and then on sunday limes is gonna do something she don't know what it is yet uh afterwards a little bit of mario kart and then vin's gonna do something uh to close it out so, nice. Uh, and by the way, thank you to the person who made the superior schedule, because mine was, was dog shit. Um, by the way, can, can I just defend myself for, for a second? Okay, can I, can, I, can I please just... Okay. When I fucking opened up Photoshop to make that schedule, my computer started to eat shit. And chug. I couldn't do anything. I couldn't even move around assets. My computer was like, no, fuck you. That's why that looked so bad. I, I think I think I need a new computer. I think I gotta get a new computer. I gotta get a new computer. I gotta get a, a whole new computer because I never had this PC not be able to, to handle Photoshop. I, that's why it looked like shit. For the record. Baby, because I know everybody's been laughing at that. I know. Baby Rabbi with the sub. Thank you so much, Fresh Freak, guys. Uh, and also, uh, Amphi, thank you for six months. Sorry if I'm missing any of your um, any of your subs. Chat's moving faster than usual, but thank you, guys. Um, so what the fuck was... Uh, oh, yeah. Amy. Why, Sonic? Why? Runs to nearest forest. You know why, Amy. You know why. And this is why... I hate Sonic. He's going to reject the bean Amy. The bean? Shad Amy fan. Five, six, four. Well, because Sonic is a fucking dumbass and a asshole. And a asshole. <laughs> well, <you> well, yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. Like, the, the fix... It can be can be funny, but like the, the the comments is where the real the real gold is. Okay, his house. Amy keeps on running in forest. Shadow notices Amy. Oh well. Amy, watch where yo. 
Oh, well, of, well actually, it's a, it's a Shad Amy ship. So, obviously, there had to be some sort of falling out between uh, Amy and Sonic to make to, to make room for Shadow to sweep in and, you know, pick up the pieces and score and all that stuff, right? So, that is part of why that person was able to call that. Um, um, good question from Nice Smith. Are you going to check art the next few days? Um, it might be a little bit harder because of how we're on like a kind of a little bit of a tighter schedule. Um, maybe let's, let's see how quickly I get through the, the fanfics like for, for today. We'll see how quickly I get through the ones that I had planned on reading. And if there's time at the end, then we'll look at art, but, um, maybe not. All right. We'll see. We can play that by ear, okay? I'm not going to tell you yes, because I don't know. Uh, Amy, watch where yo. Amy runs into Shadow. Sorry, Shad. Watch it, Amy. I said I was sorry. I hate her. <laughs> it's fine. What's up with you? You would have smacked me by now. You would have... So, okay. Shadow is saying you would have smacked me by now. Okay, because he because he got nasty with her for bumping into him. So Shadow confirmed like is a, an abuser. Like they like this. What I'm saying is this is not not an isolated incident. Like this has happened before, where like, I was, uh, sorry, reverse. She is the abuser. She's the beater. She's the she's the the, the beater. All right. You heard it here first. Okay? Sonic dumped me and I have nowhere to live. Amy Amy heard, yeah. Sonic dumped me and I have nowhere to live. Wait. They were living together? Oh, because that's, that's how that works, right? Like you dump somebody and you immedi immediately kick them out. But that's not what happened, Amy. You saw Sonic making out with Sally. It had nothing to do with you. He didn't dump you. It, did, does this did this happen between the chapters and like we didn't we didn't see this part? Like Like what happened? Like fucking You can live at my house if that's okay with you. Thank you, Shadow. Oh, dude, it's it's that easy, huh? You know what the, you know what it's like? Uh, uh shit. Uh, hold on, I got to can be Google. Let me see this. I, I, I can't find it, but basically I was on Twitter. I, I saw this picture. You know how when somebody's looking for a roommate, they put up little posters with like the phone number and stuff. And they're like, oh, here's... Here's 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 the deal, right? This woman found this this poster, right? And it was like looking for a female roommate. It was like I you know it was, it was like I'm like a 50 something male seeking young female roommate under un, it was like under 25 must be willing to cook, clean and all this various other shit and it was like it was like and not complain when I do things or or, or something. Did you did you see it? Some people in chat saw that. It was insane. It was insane. It was it was like he wanted a a a a, a fucking like mail order bride or something. He thought he was gonna be able to just like rent a room. Oh oh oh! I forgot. This was the I just remembered the best part. He was like, "You can sleep on the couch until you're comfortable sharing the bed with me." Yeah. It was, it was like, <laughs> right, yeah, yeah, that definitely a good situation to get yourself into, right? Like, for sure. There's definitely, like, dumpsters that you could live in that would be a better a better experience than that. I hope nobody called that that guy. Like, I hope that, I hope that didn't work. Also, more than that, I hope that was a meme. Like, I hope the guy who put that up was just joking. Alright, so she's very grateful. She's gonna tackle him from behind and um, dislocate some of his fucking vertebrae to show him how grateful she is. 
Like, I, you know, I'm an old man. Like, if you do something like this to me, you just, like, paralyze me from the waist down. Like, I'm gonna be in a wheelchair for, like, at least a month if you, if you do. Like, <laughs> She's gonna suplex him. Yes. <laughs> the camel clutch, you dumb son of a bitch. Do I have any... Do I have any sheik loaded up here? I do. Break his back, make him humble, and then fuck his ass. And then fuck his ass. Break his back, I got, I got some sheik loaded up. And make him humble. Shadow thinking. What is feeling? It feels warm. <laughs> okay. Maybe she pissed herself, dude. Thank you so much, Shadow. Shadow blushing. No problem, Rose. Okay, come on, let's go. Both goes to Shadow's home. Yo, Shadow lives at Nancy Pelosi's house. Holy shit. Damn, fucking nice, sick, sick pool. Amy. Whoa, and you live here all alone? No, I live with Nancy Pelosi. <laughs> Who you live with then? You. Oh, wait, no, it wasn't creepy because he just offered that to her and she said yes, so I don't know why I'm... Okay. No, it's, that, that's... Well, well, then, well, then why did they write that dramatically like that? Was it supposed to be cute? Was it supposed to be funny? Mav Maravillosa Jugado. Player? Something player. They're calling him like a fuckboy? Is that what it is? Is this a castle of sorts? Damn, that's a big-ass house. Nice pick. Damn, that's a house. Only Shadow can tolerate the sneak attack form. Amy. XD. Le Edgelord is here. Is that a Playboy Mansion? Laughing so hard. Emoji. Punches Shadow. Amy, don't kill him. Sega still needs Shadow the Hedgehog. I meant the character, not the game. What the fuck are you talking about? What? No, not the game. Anything but the game. Guy. Okay. Her death. Yeah, but like, who is this, right? Like, who, like, who is that? <laughs> Dude, there's so much violence in these... <laughs> in these fucking stories, man. Uh, always, always. It's like one of the cornerstones of these fanfics. Like, somebody's gotta die or get, like, horribly mutilated. Like, every time. There's got to be a horrible fucking, like, murder or mutilation. Like, gore. There's got to be fucking gore. There's got to be somebody gets cheated on. And, um... Fuck, I'm forgetting, like, a, bi a big trope of these stories. Chat, help me out. Maria the Hedgehog. Legit just furry Maria. Oh, are you fucking serious? Pre, pre get oh it, 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 some, somebody has mental illness right mental illness is a big one yep yep we just talked about that um you like the uh, someone people are complimenting uh jay chan i'm actually you guys got a sneak peek of it that night when obs was on the fritz but I'm working on another one. I'm working on another model, a 2D model this time, because I don't have I don't have a 2D model. It's gonna be a little bit different. Um, it's not gonna be an anime girl. Yeah. 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 Um. Is it the shit loaf? Yeah. It's a big log. It's a big anthropomorphic log of shit. Um, her death. By weirdly demented. Both Shadow and Amy go inside the house. Shadow. You like it. You like it. I'm telling you, you like it. No, I love it. <laughs> I'm dead. What? He's a zombie? He's a vampire? Why did he say that? I don't understand. What the fuck did he say, did he say that for? I'm speaking to you from beyond the mortal coil. He was like, oh, bestie, I'm dead. Like, it's like a like a hyperbole type thing, you know? What did he mean by this? I don't I don't know. I what Cause he's edgy, it's him being edgy. Like, 
They're talking like Zoomers. Well, why do Zoomers? It's like when something is so funny and you're like, I'm dead. Is that is that what you're you're saying? He is literally dead. Uh, dude, we're already up to over 17k, which is fucking bonkers, guys. Thank you so much. Hatchinia, thank you for 13 months. Good to see you. Uh, should I... Do some kind of incentive for, for, for this? Um... Uh, you know what, man? Coming up with incentives... There, so do, do you remember how... During the uh, Vine Sauces Hope charity, I said if we reached a certain number, I was going to do the drum stream. And the drum stream still hasn't happened, but it's going to. But it's going to happen. It's going to. Feet at 20k. Write a fanfic live at 20... <laughs> You know what? I love it. I love it. We'll write one. We'll write. We'll write one together as a community, right? We'll all. We'll all like. I'll. I'll write it, obviously. But you guys can, you know, give me suggestions and help. It's at twenty k, we write. We write a fanfic. What a good idea. I love it. And then that. Come on. That's. That's easy to fulfill that, right? Um, you could use an AI thing to make it spicier? Maybe, maybe, but... but <laughs> Someone in chat said, this fanfic will be unholy. <laughs> it will, it'll be so bad. <laughs> Dude, I might, we might not be able to put that fanfic on, like, on Wattpad. <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> The main, yo, should the main character be septic? Septic X reader. <laughs> septic X reader. Oh, holy fucking shit! Okay. If you don't know, Septic is my um, my one of one of my Sonic OCs. He's he's a uh, a log of shit. Um, that's a, a, a Sonic character. So basically, so, uh, so, so, just any Sonic character without the pretense of, of not being a log of shit, right? Uh, we'll, 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 we'll come back to this. We'll come back. I, I like that incentive, though. All right. Both, <laughs> both Shadow and Amy. Oh, we read that bit. Okay, Amy, come on. Take me on a tour. Okay, time passes. Amy, I'm tired. Shadow. Yeah, me too. Well, I'm going to take a nap, so see ya. Time passes again. Amy. Wakes up! Hey, I better go see what Shadow is doing. Goes to Shadow's room. He looks cute when he's sleeping. Cute! <laughs> Shadow. Not really asleep. Tell me about it. You were awake. Opens an eye. Yup. Blushes. I'm sorry. Don't worry. I knew I was cute from the beginning. Okay, well, I'm going to make lunch. No! I will make lunch! You stay here. Okay! <laughs> Yo. How many times have we seen this motherfucker, like, making pancakes and shit on these streams? Dude, in fact... Have we seen this exact art before? No, I swear to God, we've seen it. People have used this art in their, in their fix before. We've seen this art I, I, several times, I'm telling you. Male wife shadow. Based? I hate how tiny his body is. Yo... The Sonic characters are all gross. I hate the, the way they look. I hate their anatomy. I hate their big stupid fucking like heads with the big stupid quill. I just hate them. I just hate them so much. He's a twink. But the only one who doesn't look like this is Big the Cat. Okay?
I'm telling you, we've fucking seen him use, we've seen this exact art where he was like, you know, I, 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 the fanfic was Shadow, it was like a Shadow X reader and like you had Shadow's babies and he was like, you're dead. And he was like making pancakes for the kid. Am I thinking of fucking Majima? No, this is Maj that was Majima from Yakuza. The M M Majima X, X reader. Yeah, that's, yeah. The art is stolen. Yeah, I, I know, but it's just over and over again, R really? Similar character, Majima and Shadow. I'm telling you, point is we've seen this fucking art before, okay? Amy. Hmm, what does Shadow have in his room? Amy. Looks around Shadow's room and finds a picture. Alomancer points out, you've mentioned this before in these readings, they are always eating breakfast in these fix. It's breakfast most of the time. I think that's because like, you know, you, you like, they, they, they have sex and then wake up and have breakfast. But like, it's actually lunch this time for a nice change of pace. It's lunch. The breakfast. I don't know why they're obsessed with, with breakfast. Um, Amy, Shadow has a girlfriend? Shadow comes in room with Trey. Hey, what are you doing? Nothing. Tries to put picture back, but it falls to the ground. Oh, my picture. That's your girlfriend? She, she used to be. What do you mean she used to be? Well, she, she. Eyes starts to get watery. Died a long time ago. Flashback! Video unavailable. Okay. Great. It was probably a shitty Imagine Dragon song anyway. Well, it was probably a DMCA song. I'm sorry for your loss. She looks super uncomfortable though. Yo, look how aggressive her Cyclops eye is here. That's horrifying. No, I'm legit crying. Poor Shadow. No, Maria. Cute, cute, boy, you damn well, kn you know damn well, you sexy as fuck, you get the point, XD, I'm so glad I'm not the only one who thinks this. Yeah, unfortunately, you're not. I think the right term is sexy as fuck, fuck. Shadow always looks cute when he's cooking. Right, because you've fucking seen it so many times, right? It's not an isolated incident. Cute doesn't begin to describe your looks. Look at all these hog fuckers. Holy shit. Dude, too many ho hog fuckers. Too many. The comments have replies. I'm not like That's where I draw the line. They want that hog meat. Hog meat. Who's this bitch? His sister. Time passes. He's got a sister, dude? Shitto the Hedgehog. Glup Shitto? <laughs> S S H I D D O W. Shitto. <laughs> Miku as a Hedgehog? Okay. Amy, you want to go to my sister's house? Sure. Okay, hold up. Walks and opens closet to find Emerald. Okay, ready, Amy? Yeah. Chaos control. And then they end up in a fucking wall, like the Philadelphia experiment. But they're like, they're like fucking fused. No, it's, it's, it's like, uh, Galaxy Quest. Where like they, their fucking molecules get reassembled and they get fused and it's like some grotesque body horror. The fly, yeah. Well, I mean, there has to be some gore in this in this story, right? They chaos control at Shadow Sister's house. Okay, we're here. Crescent. Question marks opens door. Oh, hey, Shad. Who are you? Oh, I'm Amelia Rosette. It's not a fucking name, is it? 
Wait, that's a good point. What what is Amy short for? So Shad, is that your girlfriend? <laughs> Crescent grabs Crescent's arm and pulls her inside the house. I'll be back, Amy, one second. What's the problem? Don't do that. Stop my girlfriend, okay? Stop my fucking girlfriend. Stop my girlfriend. God! God! Starts to blush. Dude, he's he's the ultimate life form. He's the ultimate life form, and he's acting like fucking Napoleon Dynamite. But you want her to be, don't you? Blush is harder, yes. See, that's one of the things, too, that I love about fanfics, is that it re it reduces these characters to, like, dog shit. Like, it may, you know, like... I mean, to the extent that you could take a, a Sonic character seriously, but I mean, like, you know, there, there's a wide world of fanfics outside of uh, Sonic the Hedgehog, right? Um, isn't Shadow 50+. plus? Uh, what do you, what, you're saying, like, he's too old to be acting this way? Well, wasn't he in cryo sleep or something? So technically he didn't age and he didn't, um, you know, he didn't like learn. He, he, he didn't really experience that time, right? Uh, I will help you. Count on me, big bro. I could change your clothes and hair, okay? No problem. Let's let her inside. Sorry to make you wait. Come in. Okay. Goes in the house. Wow, this is amazing. I know, right? Let's Now let's give you a makeover. Glow up! Really? Thanks. Alright. Uh, pulls Amy's arm into room. Shadow sits on couch. Guess I'll wait here. Gets remote and starts watching TV. <laughs> Women, right? Barely an hour later. Four hours later. Amy comes into living room. Okay, she looks like shit. I'll say it. I'll say it. I'm not afraid to say it. She looks horrible. Alright, she looks like complete ass. She looks like somebody fucking had a tummy ache. And they chugged a bunch of Pepto-Bismol. And vomited it in the toilet with a, on, to, on top of a freshly 3D printed turd. That's what she looks like. Pepto vomit on a freshly 3D printed turd. <laughs> she looks like the Pepto Bismol mascot. Yeah, she does. <laughs> she does. <laughs> yeah, where's her Cyclops eye? What is, what is wrong with her? Her quills be bouncing though. Um, she looks like she fell into a rack at Kmart. Dude, she's gross. Yeah, her cyclopean eye is gone. Someone in chat said someone paid $500 to commission this. Question, so you like it? No, I love it. You look beautiful. Thanks, Shadow. Enough of that. Where are we going? To a restaurant. It's going to be a double date. I'm bringing my boyfriend. Let's go! Okay. Okay, okay, alright. So this is from... Uh, WWE... Me, Q, C, okay. This comment may be offensive. Fuck you! I'm Shadow's sister! Uh, sorry I said a bad word. But Crescent's the Shadow's sister. I'm his sister. Shandet Ruby Robotnik. Yeah, because he can only have one one sister. Dude. Shandet. Shady Nasties? <laughs> Sh Shad Dynasty? Shandet. Wait, cousin, sorry. Okay, so they're saying I'm... A shadow's cousin, Shandet Ruby Robotnik. But hold on, because you're saying you're re you're related to Robotnik. Like Robotnik is not related to Shadow the Hedgehog. Well, well, maybe because Robotnik's fucking grandfather made Shadow the Hedgehog, right? Like Gerald Robotnik created 
Shadow. So technically, like, if you think about it, they're like second cousins or some shit. Right? Um, cousins, sorry. Sorry, I said a bad word. It's, 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 it's okay. It, it's okay. Don't, 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 don't hurt. Don't hurt us, please. Uh, the triple date. Do, do, double date. Who's my date then? Amy. Amy blushes. <laughs> I pissed myself. Don't look. I peed. Don't worry, Ames. My brother is not that much of a dork. Snickers. C Crescent, sorry. Whatever, I'm going home to get changed. Uh, okay, bye. See you at the date date. Giggles. Blushes. Okay, bye. Chaos control disappears. <laughs> does it come with the cock vein? <laughs> you bet it does, buddy. Um, with shadow. Hmm, what should I wear to surprise Amy? Ooh, I got it. Rummages through closet. With Amy and Craig. This is fucking terrible. Like, I... I mean, okay, like, I get it. There's different kinds of, of fiction. Like, you don't have to write out every action. This is valid. This is a valid way to write fanfics, right? But my god, if it's not annoying as fuck. I mean, you know, in, in some ways, honestly, I'll be honest with you. I appreciate this. It's more like a screenplay format, right? It's like stage direction or it's like scene setting, basically. And you know why I think I appreciate it? As somebody in my, albeit very unique, position, um, I don't really want to read this shit. So, you know, if we, we fucking, you know, can get through it faster because there's not all this use, you know, shitty prose. Because, no, 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 hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. Hear me out, because... They, let, let's say they did write prose and everything, and they, they, wrote, they wrote out all the actions, and they described all the scenes and everything. Would it be good? We know it wouldn't be good because we've seen people do it before. We know it would be painful. We know it would be dog shit. In fact, if we get to another fanfic tonight, which I think we will, you're going to see what I'm talking about. What's up, Unknown? He's saying, this is essentially bad RP with people with no romance experience. Yeah, but they're RPing with themselves, right? Innovative and bold. Truncated storytelling. But we like the pain, Buntime said. Um, what am I gonna wear into the closet? You go! Okay, you do the job. An hour later. I hate this. I just, I fuck, I, I hate Cre Crescent. So hold on, Crescent is an OC, right? Like, there's no Sonic, because all the time I find out about new Sonic characters. Like, at the, almost every fucking time we do one of these. You know? It's like, oh, you don't know about Kringle the Manatee? He's cringe. It's great. I'm like, no, I never heard of Kringle the Manatee. Yeah, he's from the Archie comics, number 296. Yeah, I don't give a fuck. Because I, th I think, like, Ken Penders just shat out fucking OCs left and right. Because he was fucking creatively bankrupt. He's responsible for like 90% of the Sonic characters that are in, in existence, right? Someone in the chat said, Look at her disgusting body. It's shaped like a sausage. <laughs> <laughs> fucking gross ass sausage body, bitch. <laughs> Busted ass sausage body having bitch. All right, so come on, you need to see yourself in the mirror. Leads crescent to mirror. OMG, I don't like it. Amy frowns. I love it. How many times are they gonna fucking say that? They both appear at a restaurant called Le Food. <laughs> Le Food. No, no, they know. They had, 
No, they know how funny that is. They have to know how how funny that is. They have they have to. Yeah, they no, they're they're in on the joke for this one. Wow, this place is amazing. Look, it's lay food. <laughs> Yo, remember that one fanfic that we read where I don't, Sonic took Amy out on a date to a restaurant, but like he was a dick to her and it made her cry so hard that the chef came out of the kitchen and was like, get the fuck out of my restaurant and like kicked Amy out of the restaurant because he couldn't cook because of how loud she was crying. And then she cried on the curb for hours outside the restaurant while Sonic finished his meal. <laughs> You know, I think there's a lot of people here who who normally wouldn't come to a stream like this because of the, the because of the the fucking you know the charity the fundraising, but like, do you get it? Like, like if I, I like listen to what did you hear what I just said? Did you hear what I just said? Like, do you get why we read these now? Like, is it making sense to you? Like it's shit because it's shit like that. Like, how do you not love that? Right, like, like, come on, that's amazing. And the person who wrote that wrote that on ironically. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, this is, come on, this is good. This is good stuff. Shadow and Crescent's boyfriend appears. All right. Wow, he looks like a complete douche. Dude, he's ready. He's ready to milady all over this fucking joint, dude. You see that? Look at that. This, this screams incel all right oh when oh oh and who's who's this who's this kringo the man i don't care what his fucking name is i will be referring to him as kringo the manatee dude look at his tuft of chest hair dude, i want to grab him by the fucking tuft and just fucking like yank his head down into like a granite countertop until he stops moving And just, I just want to, like, use it as, like, a handhold to fucking, like, destroy him. Someone in chat said, why his pussy out? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He, he's, he's fucking, he's freeballing, dude. He's freeballing. Do you like his inverse shorts? <laughs> Wait, guys. Guys, 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 it just, dude, it just, it just hit me. It just hit me. This is a fucking, like, Final Fantasy character design. Yeah, this is a Final Fantasy, like, inspired. Dude, he's got the belt, he, he's got belt buckles on his fucking socks. <laughs> He's got belts on his socks. He's got a fucking belt on his waist, despite not wearing pants. Despite not wearing pants. Oh, oh, I, f oh, I hate him. <sighs> Fuck, I hate him. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, I hate him. This is a Kingdom Shorts character. He wears a sock on his dick, somebody said. He's got the removable pant legs, but is just wearing the legs. Is, th is that what that is? Is that what that is? Well, the removable pant legs yeah, involve zippers. Technically not, but like I, the sentiment is that. I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. It's, 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 it's fucking infuriating for sure. Um... Yeah, I want to put a bullet in, in, in him. I just want to put a bullet in his in his brain. Okay, Amy, uh, Shadow, you look handsome. Thanks. Blushes heavily. Crescent. Zacky runs to Zack the Puma and hugs him. So a puma is like a cougar, right? I'm gonna poom my balls in your mouth. Zach the puma. You like Zach the puma? 
Dude, it's fucking open season on Pumas. It's, it's hunt, hunting season is open. Quad laser with 11 months. Thank you, buddy. No, a, a Puma is a, a mountain lion. Mountain lion, cougar, p Puma. They're like the same thing, right? Puma, pa Puma pants on only one leg at a time. <laughs> 3D print into his mouth. What's up, glass jars? Thank you for the contribution. All right, Zach doesn't wear pants since he's got a clean dick, somebody said. He's got a dry penis? Maybe, like, he's not wearing the pants so, like, the wind can, like, air dry, air dry his dick so he can keep his penis dry, right? Um, they are synonyms. Mike, what the fuck is a puma? Stop making up animals. It's a big cat. Like he, he's, he's like a mountain lion, basically, right? Not a lynx. Okay, he's not a lynx. Um, I hate him. I, I just, I just fucking hate him. Um, I think they, they were on the endangered species list at one point, but they've since rebounded. I say it's time we put them back on the endangered species list. Like I, I think. I think they've been allowed to thrive, and this the, the the result is not worth it. They need to go. Um. Uh, hey, Chris pulls her into kiss. Amy, how cute! <laughs> how cute! Giggles. <laughs> Whispers. This could be us, but you playing. What was that, Shadow? Nothing. Okay, let's go. Grab Shadow's hand, and Crescent leads all to a six-seat table. Hey, why are we at a six-seat table? There's only one f- Are we late? Uh-oh! Uh-oh! Dude. Why does Sonic look like he just smoked salvia? Hi, I just hit fucking Salvi in the car and I made my way through the rice paddies of Vietnam and uh, I walked on the moon and now I'm here for dinner, I think. The, he's beyond zooted. This is like if, if, if you, you're, su you're supposed to take like one hit of Salvi at a time. This is like you took a fucking like a gravity bong hit, like a fucking college frat boy of Salvia that had that was like laced with ayahuasca. And then you booted up Sonic Heroes. That's what this looks like. Look at- he, dude. I, are we late? I made it and I brought the Quaaludes. The best fucking drug! Are we late? Dude, I can't believe they invited- Also, his arms are blue. <laughs> He's got the blue arms! Bring back the fucking Quaaludes! Bring them back! She got her rat tussy on display. Oh, for fuck's sake, dude. Amy. Gets mad, but calms down. Dude, I can't- <laughs> This art- This art rules. Right. <laughs> His, his fucking eyes, dude. He Oh, like he's got like a thousand yard stare. <laughs> Wait a minute. Is this is this lean vision? Everybody needs somebody to lean on. <laughs> he's fucking gone. Nobody's home. He's gone. Dude, his arm is too long too. He's got, like, ape anatomy now. Like, what? Lino vision. Dude, what was the fucking... No, like... Wait a minute. It was, like, an episode of Futurama, I, I think. I want to say... I want to say this was Futurama. Or, like... Or it was The Simpsons. Where it was, like... Everybody was getting high on something that was making them look like this. Was it fucking, like, Hypnotoad or something? Does anybody, like, remember this episode? 
Where like every everybody looked like this. It was fucking. It was it was like free. It was like freaky and scary. I don't remember exactly what it was. All right. Um. Crescent. I thought this was a double a, a double date. Crescent. I wanted to surprise you. Um. Shadow pulls Crescent to the side. Sonic is aims X. What's in your wallet? What do you got? Mastercard. Uh, what do you got? Visa. Or do you have Ames X, America's number one trusted microplastic for your booty hole? Okay. Uh, well, I I didn't know. I I'm sorry. Uh, I'll talk to them and see what I can do. Uh, okay. Crescent, listen, Sonic and Sally, this was supposed to be a double date. You need to leave. <laughs> Get the fuck out! So, dude, what what do you think is the most delicious credit card? You think it's American Express? Or do you think it's Visa? Like, has anybody... You know what I'd like to try? A, a microplastic like, credit card sampler plate? Where I could have like all of them like lined up in front of me and I could just have like 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 hors d'oeuvres or, or like um like a charcuterie board. A credit card cooterie board. A card cooterie board. There it is. Not bad. A sampler, yeah, sampler platter. Okay. Um listen, Sonic and Sally, this was supposed to be a double date. You need to leave. No! You invited us, so we're staying. Oh, shit. What the fuck? Okay, then. Sha Shadow kicks her shit. <laughs> oh. Ow, Shad. What was that for? Oh, I thought it was like, a, like, like violence, but it was just kind of like, I want you to know, you know, like, like shush, right? It was like just low key type of type of signaling. Well, I was, it was, it wasn't, it's not violence. It's not violence. Not yet. Shad, what was that for? Shadow, you just said okay. Crescent whispers, I have a plan. Crescent tells Shadow the plan, and he agrees. Wait, waiter. What would all of you like to order? Everyone tells the waiter what they want. Good choices! Waiter leaves. So, how have you been doing, Shadow? Fuck you, I'm not leaving! Fuck you, I'm staying! Fuck that! Fine, just fine. What about you, Zach? <laughs> Perfect. 20 minutes later of small talk, the food comes. Amy. Finally, food! Yeah. Shadow winks at Crescent. Okay, Crescent. Oh, shoot. I think I left my bag in the house. Amy, can you come and help me find it? Okay. Crescent takes her emerald out and says, Chaos Control. They both disappear. Amy, you had your bag. We were going to get you away, so just get into PJs or something. What? What is? What is this? This? This plan? What is it? What is this? Okay. Goes to Christian's room to get into PJs. Back at the restaurant. What's taking them so long? Yeah, it's just the bag. Shadow sees waiter coming. We better go check on them. Takes out Chaos Emerald. Chaos Control. Zack and Shadow disappear. Crescent. Haha. -ha. Guess what I can do? Amy, what? I can spy on them to see what's going on. Opens a portal that she, she can see what's going on, but they can't see her. Waiter. Here's the check. Puts check on table. Where are they? Sally. I don't know. Waiter. you you need to pay, or else I am calling the cops. Sonic. Fine, fine. Takes out Bill and looks at it. Two thousand dollars? What the fuck? <laughs> Amy Shadow crush it, and Zach laughs. Sonic takes out wallet and pays waiter. Crush it. They said they wanted to stay. <laughs> Stupid! 
They made him pay for their food and everything. Oh my god, the dine, the dine and ditch. Oh my god. All right, I'm gonna be honest with you. Chaos control dine and dash. Do we have the most powerful fucking objects in the universe? Okay, they can create life and destroy worlds. Let's use them to dine and dash, right? Like <laughs> Okay, they they have If I was Sonic I'd be like no 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 I'd say no fuck you I'm not no what, what do you mean no I what, no absolutely not I'm not doing that Okay I'm not I'm not doing I'm not paying for shit It's not happening I don't care call the cops Leaked plot for Sonic's third movie Dude this unironically is like the type of thing that would happen in one of those movies, like I, f I feel like I feel like this is on the table, like it's that kind of wacky, like almost slice of life type shit that you could see them doing, because that's that that that's that's really the, what the bulk of those movies is, isn't it? Like you know how much of those movies is like Sonic actually fighting Robotnik, like two percent of it. Most of it is like wacky wedding antics and and, and like a fucking dance off in in a, in, a, in, a, in a fucking biker bar. Like like what the fuck? This totally, totally, totally would be fodder for the next Sonic movie. And I'll tell you what, dude. Um, we know that Wattpad has been, like, allowing production studios to mine some of the content on the website for scripts. Unironically. Like, they've been talking about that for a while, right? Democracy Manifest! Shadow's like, here I am trying to enjoy a succulent Chinese meal, right? And they come in and tell me I owe $2,000. Get your hands off my penis! You know, uh, hold on. Uh, Sonic got Dine and Dash for two grand. That is, you know, that, that's an outrageous amount of money to get Dine and Dashed for. I mean, really, like any amount of money is crazy, but. Olive Garden, yeah. <laughs> they did dine and dash at Olive Garden. Hi, uh, Cherry Drive By. Say you didn't watch either of the Sonic movies without saying you didn't watch either of the Sonic movies. You got me. I didn't watch. I didn't watch either of the Sonic movies. You know, my examples are literally two scenes from the Sonic movies, right? Uh, it's literally, I, I didn't even make up things that sound like that might happen. Those are two things that do happen. Mega 5K is here. Hey, apparently a One Direction fan fiction movie from Wattpad was supposed to happen. Or is One Direction going to be in the movie though? Because that'd be insane. Sonic is having to take out like a small business loan to like not go to jail right now. I would like to go to that restaurant. If it's San Ali, they're gonna pay XD. 10 minutes, then we GTFO. Di bite me, daddy, uwu. Cool, I like the pick. Lay food, when you so lazy to make up a good name for the restaurant. I mean, you know, they're teleporting out of the restaurant. I'd be like, you're going to come back, right? Like, Jay Chan is having a conniption. No, that's part of, uh, that's part of the charm of, of the model. Is it's, it's supposed to, it's supposed to fucking like tweak out and like, and like freak out. Like, that's absolutely part of it. It's okay. She's supposed to look like shit. That's by design. I, I this one direction thing. Well, is it? It was was this announced prior to Wattpad saying that they were going to start, yeah, like putting out this kind of, this kind of shit, like telling people like that 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 your published stories might get tapped by like a production studio, basically. The fan fiction was written by an adult woman about Harry Styles, when he was seventeen. It had a ton of sex scenes. It was super weird, and it got published. Well, here's the thing about that. Anybody can publish anything these days. 
Like, you can get your shit self-published. So, like, if you're a fucking disgusting weirdo and you make some disgusting weird shit and then you publish it, people will be like, oh, that got published. But it's like, yeah, well, anybody can publish anything. So it's, you know. The couples. Well, Shadow and Amy later in the story. Zach and Crescent are at the bar. Please, don't ask me why. Why? No, why? Amy, don't drink too much alcohol. Already drunk. <laughs> hey, cutie, how's it going? <laughs> oh, God. Now I gotta deal with this drunk bitch. Oh, God, she can't hold her liquor. Oh, God. Oh, she's gonna be all over me. Oh, this is gonna be a disaster. This is gonna be so embarrassing. Crescent. Amy, let's go. Amy smacks her. Let go of me, you dirty bitch! Shadow pulls Amy out of the way. Just a ri just the run of the mill, totally average Saturday night in fanfic land. Shadow. Crescent, I know it's hard, but try not to fight Amy. It's not entirely her fault. Zack. She better not do it again. You okay, Cress? I'm fine. Let's just go to my home. Newcomer, thank you for 10 months of support. Okay, takes out Crescent. Cr cr crescent? How, how the fuck do you say this name? Crescent? Crescent? Crescent, right? Is the, per is, is, is the word, is how you say it? Hold on a minute. Like a crescent moon? Crescent. Crossy. Croissant? Amy notices Sonic. Oh well. Hey, it's Sonic the goofball. Everyone starts to laugh throughout the bar. Look, it's you. I'm so glad I dumped you. Everyone went, oh. Ooh. Ooh. It's like Mori Povich type shit. At least I can get more girlfriends than you. Everyone, ooh. I don't know. Um, bisexual pride emote. I, 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 I what, it, what, what? I don't what. So shadow turns to shadow. That's the trash you're dating. I should have warned you. She's crazy around bars. Get it? No, me neither. Yeah, what? Wait, what? Yeah, what? Wait, what, 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 what? What? Hold on. Amy. Walks out bar with Shadow's Emerald. Hey, cutie. I got your shiny. <laughs> oh, God. What's she, what's she gonna do? Jackie Lope. Thank you for the sub. It's a fresh freak. Guys few dumpies uh the author attempted to make a dick joke it, it, what, is this the dick joke because uh, this is not landing for me like she's crazy around bars not really making not really making any fucking sense to me at all amy walks out bar with shadows emerald got your shiny amy wait wrong voice amy runs outdoors Looks like we found our recruit. Amy, what are you doing? Hey, you cutie, my head hurts. I think I'm gonna... Passes out and drops Emerald. Oh, God, she's like... Sloppy, embarrassing drunk. Like, you know, like, like what do they call it? It's like, like, white girl drunk. You know, you guys know about white girl drunk? Thank you for the bits, bud. Again, if you guys want to give me money, I totally appreciate it. I do. Thank you, but consider putting a few bucks into the uh, direct relief charity tonight, guys. Maybe if you can only do one tonight, make it the charity. Uh, there's a there's a link in the chat to, to donate. Thank you, uh, thank you, Wisp, and uh, Zanka. Thank you for nine months, ma'am. And remember, we are going to write our own fanfic at twenty k. We're going to write. Our own fanfic. I'm going to do a stream. I'm going to open up a word pad. I'm going to start chucking ideas out there. Okay, you guys. 
are going to chuck ideas into the chat. It's going to be a group project. And then we are going to publish it on this website. We will put it, we will put it on this website. And then you guys can, can, can put whatever kind of disgusting garbage you want in the comments. Okay. And get your accounts banned. Whatever cat you want septic, whatever characters you want. All right. Um, So where the fuck, guys? There's fucking chi there, there's there's children like screaming like outside the, my building. Do you guys hear children like like they're they're fuck? I don't know. They're they're like playing catch or something out there. It's really loud. Do you hear it? Because it's distracting the fucking shit out of me. It it is it is fucking loud. Holy shit! You're not you're really not hearing that. It's like pissing me the fuck off. All right. Um. Catches Amy before she fell to the ground. Amy takes Emerald off the ground and says, Chaos Control, but to where? Yeah, I'm, ha I'm having like a monster get off my lawn moment right now. Like I'm having like a monster fucking like, like I'm going to fucking, like I'm going to snap moment. Like and just, and just like scream at some kids like a fucking, like an old boomer scumbag. Yeah, I might, ha I might have to do it because it's like insane. Like it is so loud. Holy shit. Amy wakes up. Huh, say, Shad. Amy looks around and notices two women staring at them. A cat and a bat. Oh! <gasps> what the heck? Shadow, where are we? I don't like this art. Why don't I like this art, guys? Hey, shut up. I'm trying to read terrible Sonic fanfiction in here. Yeah, like I... <laughs> I go out there and just <laughs> flip out, right? This guys, you know, I've I've been in this apartment for a while. Like I, I don't know, I'm gonna say like almost a year, and I've not heard, I've not heard these kids wiling out like this. Like this is insane. This is this is the first. Like I'm wondering like what the fuck is happening out there. It's kind of crazy. I, I might actually have to go out there and find out like what the fuck is happening in a minute because it's like it, it's like they're having a block party or something. Like I don't know what the fuck this is. Should you call someone? Like, I don't know. Like, wh when can I call the cops? Like, is it too early to call the cops? For, like, noise like noise pollution. Call the cops now? Alright, I'm gonna do it. On stream. City life hack. Throw pennies at them. No, I think you gotta wait till, like, actually 11 p.m. before you could call the cops. But I think that th this is... <laughs> so, that's, that's, the, that's the whole stream right there. Yeah, no, I, I, think, I think I have to wait till 11 p.m. Like, I'm just going to have to... I guess I'm just going to have to deal with it. I have to fucking deal with it. Mike arrests children for charity? Okay. Uh, Amy... Looks around and notices two women, a cat and a bat. All right, so it's Blaze the stupid fucking cat. And there you go, tits. Oh, dude. Dude, they really fucking like pushed up her car. Look at that. Dude, why is that? That is fucking horrifying, bro. And look at her hand. Like, why is her hand extra creepy? Holy fuck. Like, wh wh yo, where is this render from? Well, this might be official art, but I, I could tell you this much. This is not the official Pakistani render of this character. Okay? This is, this, this is definitely not the Pakistani Happy Meal render of Rouge the Bat. That's all I know for sure. All right? I could tell you that much. Bungee Gummy? Welcome to the family, freak. That's a fresh freak, guys. Freak them up. Rose and Amy, tennis. Uh, I'm me. I'm pretty sure you know who they are. If you don't, look it up. I think we're good. Shad, she doesn't know about us. Tell her. Listen, Amy. These people here are killers. They want you to join them. What? They might kill me. Not a chance. 
You look like you might have something special within you, Pinky. Um, how do you know what's inside me? Damn, boy, were you just frying chicken in there? <laughs> For real, though. You piss loud as fuck. I think that's pretty cool. The name's Amy, but okay, I'll join this club. Dude, Rouge the Bat looked at Amy's fucking, like, MRI and shit. Her sonogram. Sonogram! Wait a minute. That makes me want to punch things. Good. Come on now. You need to change. You look like some washed up seaweed. Hey. Okay, fine. See you, Shadow. Walks into room with question marks. Sorry it took so long to update. After state exam tests were happening. I don't fucking care. Just write the story. God damn it. I'm sorry. Wait, who the fuck is this? Oh. I'm starting over. Um, hi. A writer here. I'm starting this over. I know. I know. This is a good series. But come on. Face it. Every author has an author's block. But. Good news. I will make a new Shad Amy. It's the same one. But better. Okay. That's about it. Bye. Blowjob Andy. <laughs> 11 minutes ago. Wow, I wonder what made that person do. It's this is this is chat leaving comments. W Emic Foxina, I'm Shadow Sister. <laughs> okay, we we know. We we know. We know you're Shadow Sister. It's it's all right. We we're going to be okay. Halo. B Bungie? Hey guys. I was actually thinking I can still do the story, but I don't know if you guys want me to. But comment below for me to see if I can complete it. That is it. Foxy to the Fox. Blowjob Andy. <laughs> yeah, there could... Shadow can only have one sister, right? Rusty Iron Pole. Hey, bud. They're saying, me and my goons were listening. I, I love that, g goons. We're listening to the McDonald's Pakistani Sonic commercial. And we've begun to hear them saying McDonald's Jelker meal at the start. That sounds fucking great. I'll have to listen to it again. The Jelker meal? Stop tapping. When chat comments, they're tapping the glass. All right. One guy. From 2017, so this is not chat. One guy, they said, please do. All right. <laughs> I'm doing it. By popular demand. So eventually that writer's block gets broken. So that means I'm still going to do the story. Dude, one fucking guy. George R. R. Martin, take fucking notes, dude. Okay, this is how you break a writer's block. Yes! He was too busy writing about dung eater. He's got a writer's block. Yo, the longer, the more time goes by, the more I realize that George R.R. R. Martin is just like a lazier George Lucas. Like, I don't know why, why, why is there so much crossover between, the, like, why, why am I, they're like merging into the same person in my mind. Tank facts, thank you for four months of support. I don't know why he's George Lucas. Do not ask me why he's George Lucas. No, I, I don't I don't know why. Just because the name? No, it's more than that. It's like George R. R. Lucas. I guys, I have no idea why. I don't know why I think that. I don't know why I fucking think that. Okay, so here we go. White box. <laughs> Both are hack frauds. <laughs> Kinda. Uh the phone call. Here we go. I don't know how much time passed in between. Maybe like a couple of couple of months or something, right? 
An hour passes and Amy comes back out. Wow, that is really, really gross. Wow, looks cool. Thanks. Amy's phone rings. Huh, who's this? Amy answers the phone. Hello? Hello. Who are you? No one you don't know. Who are you? Can't tell you, baby, babe. I don't even know who you are. You'll find out soon enough. I can't do this voice. It's destroying my throat. The phone hangs up and Amy looks at it confused. What happened? No idea. He sounded weird. Meh, whatever. We need to go practice. Okay, I guess. They all practice. They all go to practice at the gun place. Texas? The gun place. <laughs> Starring Ted Danson and Kristen Bell. Hey, my little foxies. I'm sorry I haven't been on for a while. Some family problems have been going. Wait a minute. What did you call me? I'm your little foxy? I'm not your little foxy. Do they mean gun or a shooting range? I think they mean a shooting range. The gun place. Uh, I wanted to say I'll be making a new story. A lost game that I've been working on. Sorry the chapter is short, but I'll update sooner or later. Bye. Scourge. Alright. They think it's Scourge? They were all at Rouge's house. So listen, we all need to be quick. And if you run out of ammo, just use something that may be around. You got that, Amy? Amy, uh, Shadow looks around, but Amy isn't there. If you run out of ammo, use something that's... Like, what? What, like... What, just start throwing shit? Is that how it works at a shooting range? Amy? Pinky, where are you? We need to go. What the hell? I need to find her. Shadow starts frantically looking for Amy. Shadow doesn't stop. Shadow keeps on looking. Blaze and Rouge yell, Shadow. Shadow stops and turns around. Come on, we just need to go. She'll show up sooner or later. But Rouge grabs, uh, grabs Shadow's hand and pulls him away. Amy wakes up in a tube. Huh? Where am I? She tries to get out but fails. Get me out of here! I don't like that rip. Like, why is that rip there? Why is that rip in that spot? Le tube. She went to le tube. She is... <laughs> Chad is saying it's the jar. Hey, Jad, which jar? Which jar, guys? This is Penders-esque. Le jar. <laughs> Le funny jar, right? Her quills do be bouncing, though, right? She woke up on the the London Metro. <laughs> D yeah, that's not cool. That rip in that spot is not a coincidence. Hello, Amy. A green figure walks. Cthulhu, Amy. Cthulhu? A green figure. It makes me have a figure fantasy. Download now. You. Oh, yes, it's me. S -s Scourge. What do you want from me? What I want? Your pain. We like to taste. We like to fuck. We like the pain. Nobody is commenting on this. <laughs> I know we've seen this before. Didn't we see this art after 
Amy got hit by a car that time, right? When he, when Robotnik got drunk and mowed down Amy in his Nissan Sentra. And he said, get a load of this! And he slammed into her going like fucking like at least 60 miles an hour and spilled her rings all over the freeway. Get a load of this! Yeah, the last time we saw this art, for those of you who haven't been here before, the last time we saw this art in a fanfic was Robotnik got fucking zooted on like, I don't know, fucking Schlitz and NyQuil and then fucking started drunk driving and fucking slammed into Amy while she was crossing the street and fucking killed her. And right before he hit her, he said, get a load of this! All right, that part we made up. We we made that part up. We made the, she he didn't he didn't say that, but he should have said that. He should have said that. All right, Wisp is correcting me, huh? No, it was that one time where Sonic and Amy had a child. Metal Sonic was pretending to be Shadow for 15 years, and then Metal Sonic killed Amy. This was the last time we saw this art. Oh, right. Okay. Metal Sonic married amy had a child with amy and then raised amy for 15 years without anybody finding out that he was a robot and then he murdered her he was like playing the long con but like for no reason like why didn't he kill her after like year one like why didn't he kill her after oh no she married sonic oh i'm all confused are you sure No, because she, she thought that fucking Sonic, that Metal Sonic was Sonic. No? Alright, I did, you know what, I don't, okay, I don't, I don't, I don't fucking care. Alright, we're, <laughs> we're on this one now. Okay, you're right, whatever. We're, we're not, I don't want to go visiting, revisiting fanfics we already read. Okay, we, we have this one, let's focus on this one. There was a 15 year time jump just after Metal Sonic trapped Shadow in the Oh no, no that, that's what it was. He kept Shadow captive for 15 years. That's what it was. Like he kept Shadow like tied up in the basement for 15 years. It was like some old boy shit. That's what it fucking was. Yeah. It was like the plot of old boy. Yeah, that no, that's that's what <laughs> that's what it was. But it wasn't but it wasn't the plot of old boy because what happened was the author did did a time a 15 year time skip and just forgot that they left shadow in the basement that's what actually happened right because he he couldn't escape until after the time jump for some reason right no it is no, the the, the Metal Sonic did not impregnate Amy. I, I I'm I'm wrong. I'm, don't listen to me. I'm wrong. This person wanted to share their Deviant Art favorites folder, so they wrote fix about it. We've seen no, we've seen this art several times. Yeah. Dude, I'm gonna have to scream at these kids it's really it's really pissing me off he was 3d printing in 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 a chair for 15 years no maybe they cut a hole in the bottom i think they cut a hole in the bottom all right here's yeah here's a great question i wanted to get to this myself feral trash mammal is asking what do you guys think is the actual reason that this drawing was made. Like why, like, like who made this and, and why? There is just, there's so much violence in the Sonic fan, like fan, fan community. Like it is fucking, they are obsessed with violence. And I don't know why. Like, it's not even like, Sonic is a particularly like violent franchise. Like, what do you you kill robots? Like, it's bloodless. You know what I mean? Like, what repressed anger and angst, edge. 
children experimenting with adult themes. Yeah, all right. So pain. P -p pain. What does that mean? It's what you can see through others. You have a lot of it. I can tell. Pain. M -m 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 my pain. All right. Amy has a flashback. Okay, listen. I'm going to tell you right now. Wow, well, Jay Chan's experiencing some pain, huh? I'm going to tell you right now. The remainder of this of this fic is fucked. Okay, okay I, I remember this now. Okay, it is fucked. 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 All right. So just just so you know. Now ho hold on. Hold on a sec. What what is the name of the shitty uh, fucking cyberpunk song with Cuz there's a lot of pain in this segment and I think we could listen to that song during the pain because I'm told it's DMCA free. Okay. Simon and Ribbon Rose, Amy's parents. Look at his fucking face. <laughs> Look at his nose. Oh my god. Ribbon. Oh, you were the cutest thing ever, Amy. Simon, so beautiful. Gunshots are heard, and one of them are impaled in Simon. Fuck. Uh, I had a sa I had a sound effect for this motherfucker. All right, you just get to imagine the, the sound of gunshots. Okay, I'm not gonna spend ten minutes looking for this. All right, it's ruined. Whatever, fine. You just imagine the gunshots. Gunshots are heard, and one of them are impaled in Simon. His body falls. S Simon! Another is heard, and it lands in Ribbon's heart. M -m Mommy! Daddy! Yo, Amy has the same backstory as Bruce Wayne? Like I'm, I'm, I'm seeing like the pearls falling to the ground and bouncing off the fucking. Scourge walks to Amy, smiling evilly. Oh, it's okay, little Amy Rose. You'll survive. Wait, he was. Oh, he killed them. He walks away while Amy is crying. Flashback ends. Dude, he's like the Joker. You monster! I hate you. Scourge flips a switch, and the pain starts extracting from Amy. Amy screams while Scourge laughs. <laughs> oh, it's okay, little Amy Rose. He he he. With Shadow, Blaze, and Rouge. They are looking around, and Shadow hears her scream. I think I hear her. They run towards the sound, and they see Amy and Scourge. Let go of her, Scourge. <laughs> I don't think so. Amy has her head down, and she starts laughing insanely. <laughs> what the? I think you've mistaken my pain for something you can just take away from me. Her head raises, and she looks like this. Dude, she has embraced her edgy fucking interior. Her, like, the, the heart of the edge has fucking bred inside her.
No, don't auto play. Don't auto. Don't you dare. Dude. She has become dorselessness. You know, for you remember how J Chan had the dorselessness fucking expression? It's I it, I fucked something up and now it doesn't work, but it would have been would have been a good time for it. I'm trying to do it right now. It's not working. Yeah, it's, it's not. I don't know what I did. I, I moved some file around or something, and now she won't become dorseless. But we, did she had a dorselessness button. It was great. Was it the? Oh yeah, it, it was the other model. Yeah, 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 it did. Yeah, it was the other model. This model didn't have the dorselessness. Right, right. But anyway, she's looking dorseless. Oh my dorses gone. All her dorses have left her. And she has embraced the edginess. Shadami fan five sixty four is drawing the line here. Fuck this shit. I'm out. Bruh. They're out. Look at this. A little insane. Amy, are you okay? Oh, I'm perfectly fine. Amy's eyes turn black with red irises. Scourge, what the hell? Amy breaks out of the capsule. How about I see your pain? What? No. Amy touches Scourge's head. <laughs> Scourge's worst memory. Okay. Buckle the fuck up. Because this gets even dumber, okay? He is in a car with his parents. Scourge's mother. Honey, we were, are almost there. They crash into a truck. <laughs> M Mom, the dad? Their bodies full, and Scourge decides to run home. Scourge. He breathes heavy and looks for his mother, his, his brother, excuse me. M Max? Max? He finds his brother tied up with a gun to his head. Question marks. Time to die, you little mutt. He kills whoever he is, kills Scourge's brother, then kills himself. Scourge, M Max. Ready? 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 Ready for the fucking where it gets real, f real good? Police rush in and they see Scourge. Police number one, you did it. What? No! That's my... They arrest him and he is convicted of murdering his family. But I didn't do it. He is sent to jail for 15 years and comes out the way he is now. Hear you. <laughs> Yakuza plot. Dude, it is another 15 year time skip. Okay, so we gotta unpack everything that just that just fucking that just fucking like took place. Okay, cause there's cause there's a lot. There's a lot here. By the way, who how many people don't even know who the fuck Scourge is? Scourge is like a green, edgy fucking... You know, they're all fucking edgy. It's not even worth saying at this point. He's like a kind of an anti-Sonic. Where he's from the he's from the Archie comic books, right? I think he I think he predates Shadow the Hedgehog. Doesn't he actually predate Shadow? He he's a Ken Penders character, yeah. He's a Ken Penders character who was supposed to be like an edgier Sonic before shadow it was was created by sega right and he's and he wears like leather and he's like a bad boy and he's a fucking asshole he just fucking sucks just a stick just a shit fucking character just an absolute shit stain of a fucking character that has no fucking reason to exist because again I, honestly anything ken ben, ken penders did is, is just not canon and that includes this fucking character excuse me i'm sorry it's just fucking trash we didn't need a fucking e green edgy sign stop it okay stop 
So anyway, people love to use this character in the in these fucking fanfics for some reason. Like they like they like Scourge. I don't know. They like Scourge. That again, it's kind of like with Sally, right? Like whenever they need like a bad guy, they just go get Scourge. They're like oh, Scourge, Scourge, Scourge. And the reason that they they, they don't make shadow the hedgehog the bad guy because like everybody wants to fuck shadow you know who's the bad guy more than shadow is sonic 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 is evil in these fucking fanfics more than robotnik sonic is evil he is evil incarnate the things that he does in these fanfics dude he fucking punched a pregnant woman in the uterus because his kid was in there and he didn't want to be a father he punched her repeatedly in the uterus to try to fucking abort the baby. Robotnik never did anything remotely like that in any of the fucking, any, in anything. Ever. And that's what that emote is based on. I fucking mi I missed I think I missed somebody's sub or something. Thank you if you if you subbed or or, or bits or, or donated whatever. Thank you guys. Whatever that whatever that notification was. I'm sorry, I missed it. Uh, right, Tita. Not only did Robotnik never punch a pregnant woman, Robotnik himself got pregnant. Alomancer with 11 months. Thank you. He did infamously get zooted and run Amy Amy over. Yo, Dionysus, I'm going to tell you something right now. The fanfic that we were reading actually only wanted us to believe that for like the first half of it. And then like towards towards the end, it gets revealed that Robotnik actually didn't hit Amy. It was like, so, like somebody else did it or something. It was like something else happened. It, 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 it was Sonic? Who was it? Like it was actually Sonic. Like Sonic was the one who mowed down Amy drunk. It was t it was Tails. <laughs> it was Tails. <laughs> it was Tails. <laughs> it was Tails. Okay. So <laughs> right. So 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 he would he would. So Robotnik didn't even do that. He didn't even do that. Like, Sonic is way more evil in, in, in these fix, right? Which is more iconic? Sonic percussive abortion or get a load of this? Is bold. It was never revealed. Tails told Sonic it was Robotnik to get him put away under the guise of he's going to kill somebody. But Sonic actually did kill him? Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't fucking... I don't remember. I, I a minor committing vehicular manslaughter. Well, tall show. I mean, like, I, I probably it ha probably happens a lot. Like kids, kids who don't know how to drive, fucking take the keys and are like, "Me, I'm gonna drive a car. Me, I'm gonna drive mommy's car," and then fucking hit somebody because they're little punks. Like, I'm sure that ha that probably happens a lot. As fucked up as it sounds, right? Yeah. Pogbot, Pog, he Pogbot, Pog did that. Okay, so again, I want to get back to like on unpacking this. Okay, they arrest him, and he's convicted of murdering his family. Okay, scourge. Okay, so maybe I could see with the brother, right? Okay, the cops walk in. They see Scourge, and they see his brother with a gunshot wound in, in, in the head. And they're like, where are you killed him? Because they're incompetent or whatever, right? But his parents died in a car crash. Because don't forget, his brother getting shot in the head is totally unrelated to the fucking car crash. These are two separate events. I mean, it was a very busy day for Scourge, apparently. You know, like, there was a lot going on that day, I guess. Right? Um. Hmm. 
this is cartoonishly stupid because it doesn't make any sense like like sure incompetent cops but like this incompetent so they found the dead parents in a fucking car wreck and were like you did this too like what the fuck they got hit by a truck <laughs> like what he was driving the truck like they did like they found evidence that he was driving the truck like what the fuck you know what what <laughs> accidental political commentary okay <laughs> um and then they and they they put him away for 15 years so in this scenario he killed three people and only went to jail for 15 years there's <laughs> there's so much wrong with this He is sent to jail for 15 years and comes out the way he is now. Like he's got a neck tattoo. Well, Sonic characters don't have necks. So Where is where so where's the tattoo? Where is it? Right? They don't have necks, do they? Oh, right, he's got a face tattoo. Okay. The Canadian justice system. Yeah, maybe it's 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 like it's like Norway. Hit, right? This gets dumber. Believe it or not, this gets dumber. Scourge, I hate everyone. I will have my revenge. Haha. -ha. So I think this is at right immediately after he comes out of jail. He says, "I hate everyone. I will have my revenge." Haha. -ha. And then he goes back into his house and sees the bodies decaying. Okay, are you following that? That means that the, the 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 body, I guess the body of his brother and I don't know, maybe his parents' bodies were brought here and left there for 15 years like nobody took them to the morgue or buried them or anything like that? Like anything <laughs> like You know, like, what about an autopsy to figure out what? Well, no wonder he went to jail for 15 years. They didn't even try. They didn't try at all. They let him keep the house, though. That's pretty pug. They dumped the bodies on the carpet. <laughs> it's just left. <laughs> they just left these people's bodies rotting in the house for 15 years. No, no coroner. No, no morgue. No, nothing. Just left. Just left it there. Like, let nature take care of it, right? Like, <laughs> Christ. What? They were not just left there, but they were preserved there. Skeletons by now. Somebody... It, it, dude, this person said skeletons by now and then got timed out for 600 seconds by, by Moobot. Oh, because they said another bed. Oh, you said, oh, yeah, that'll, that'll, that'll do it. How are they still decaying? That process is far from finished by now. Well, maybe they had the air conditioning up really high. Right? Maybe they just had the air conditioning jacked. You know? Like, maybe... Noli Canoli said, it's just a bunch of roadkill. 15 years seems quite excessive. <laughs> the memory stops and Scour Scourge is crying hard. No, Matt, it doesn't say he's imagining it. It, it, it says that, the, that, that that's his memory. He is remembering this. He is remembering all of this. Amy. You sick bastard! Amy grabs her gun and points it at his head. Any last words? Oh, wait. I don't care. She kills him. <laughs> Fucking... Tita, do you still have that gunshot sound effect? I, I fucking put it on my desktop. I, I can't find it. I... Can you send that to me again, please? 
Fucking cried. There's so much good use for it. She was his queen. <laughs> she was. <laughs> she was his queen. Y you are so insane. Shadow tells her. I, I love you. Amy smiles and kisses Shadow. Amy. Aw, aren't we just a little insane? That's the name of the story. They said the thing. They said the thing. Oh, thank you, Tuna. Shadow, you know the rule. Never stick your dick in crazy. Dude, he doesn't give a fuck. You think he gives a shit? Shadow's the type of motherfucker. He'll, he'll invite that into his life. He'll be like, yes, I want a psychotic woman to fucking completely ruin my life. Turn my life upside down. Fuck yeah. Let's do it. I like that shit. No, I like that shit. No, I like that. Ruin my life. Ruin my life, please. That's, that's what Shadow's all about. Right? Violent squeaky toy dot web. I love the kind of woman who will actually just fucking kill me. You know, prior to that, now, now we, we, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta talk about something because prior to the break that the author took, okay. Was there any indication that this was going to get this dark? Like, this fucking went completely off the rails. What the fuck happened to this kid during that break? Like, I'm legitimately worried about this because this shit came out of nowhere. The title is a little insane. They fucking changed it. They went to the movies and saw the Joker. <laughs> they saw the Joker! Dude, you think you saw the Joker? You, you d d There's a fanfic we're gonna read. We're gonna read later. You have no idea. You have no idea. The best is yet to come. She took a break, she watched the Joker, and she came back and wrote this. Like, so, seriously, something, something fucking went down. Because there was none of this fucking insanity and violence and fuck this, this dark kidnapping and torture and murder and fucking these flashbacks about dead parents and all this fucking shit. They said they were dealing with family problems. Gee, like, I... D holy shit. Like, I mean that. Like, I'm actually, like, I, I hope they're okay, because what the fuck? She went through her Joker arc, IRL. Mike, they were in prison for 15 years. Dude, the break was 15 years long? Oh, hell no! <laughs> Aren't we all just a little in insane? By the way, they said that they were going to stop reading this. They didn't. They kept they kept reading it. They kept reading it. So, yeah, I mean, there you uh there there you have it. Like uh Shad Damey, a little insane. Uh go check it out. Uh hey guys, Foxy here. I'm here to tell you 
that the very first chapter of Shad Damey, A Little Insane 2, came out. There is some crazy plot twists that I'm thinking about, and I hope you guys will read it. Dude, it was like fucking... It was like a totally kind of norm, normal, like, fanfic before, and then it, it became that. Like, Guys, you want to read the... um. Do you want to read the sequel? Sazabi. This was a certified hood classic. Blowjob Andy just put a period. Okay. Guys, stop tapping the glass, please. We're going to take a little break. There is a... It sounds like this kid is getting stabbed in the chest. Outside. It sounds like somebody's getting fucking stabbed out there. It actually sounds like somebody is just straight up getting murdered out there. Like a child is, is just scream is just screaming fucking bloody murder out there right now. You guys heard that? Do do I actually just have to fucking go out? I, I think I have to go out there. Like this is, like, this is insane. Yeah, I, I actually, I have to just, I have to just be right back. This is insane. This is just, this, this is actually fucking nuts. This actually is fuck, fucking, this is fucking crazy. Hi, I'm back. Um, pretty much just got told to eat shit, but it's fucking cool. Um, let's not focus on that. Let's focus on the fact that we've raised almost $20,000. for direct relief. Pretty cool. Um, Pogbot pogged at you, getting told to eat shit. Y 
Yeah, we're almost at 20k, guys. So, I mean, thank you all. Um, did you actually get told to eat shit? No, I'm exaggerating. No, no one, no, no one, no one died. No one died as far as I could tell yet. Okay. Um, I'm just going to focus on the positive right now. Um, twenty k for this charity, which is just incredible, guys. Thank you so much for making this possible. What a magical, magical affair. Um, what a magical affair. I'm, can you tell I'm pissed? <clears throat> can you tell I'm a little bit? I'm just a little bit fucking pissed. Just a little bit angry, you know. Um, we can't hear it. Well, I hear it. That's I'm and I'm trying to work, so it's really not cool. Um, Jesus fucking Christ, it's loud. Okay. Um, hmm. What do you say we read another fanfic, guys? Let's let's try to let's try to keep the uh, let's try to keep the party going. Let's try to keep the mood high here. Uh, I've got hmm, I'm so mad. Uh, Gigi, thank you for twenty months. Oh, you had COVID. I hope you feel better. They said maybe having COVID for the past two weeks wasn't all bad i get to watch you draw taft chan and just overall enjoy the community and boy draw taft chan you did for those of you who don't know taft chan is a embodiment of ex-president william howard taft uh, as an anime girl uh, and you better believe she's hot uh top tier waifu Hey, cool and good. Take solace in the fact that those children's futures have been ruined by global warming. The parents were there. Well, I, yes, I, I, I had, I had, I had uh, words. I had words with the with the parents. It was. Um... What do I, it, like like do I like what am I gonna what am I gonna do? Cause this 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 is this sucks. This just sucks. Dooming in a charity stream, great. Let's take a look at this uh, to distract us. For those of you who don't know what's going on here, we've got three days of cum lined up for you. Uh, I, yeah, I may look at sound, yeah, sound dampening or something. Maybe I got to invest a couple of couple of thousand dollars into soundproofing the, <laughs> the, the room, maybe. Um, we got three days of cum. Uh, we can't hear anything. I'm hearing it. I'm hearing it. Holy fucking shit, dude. Uh, we got three days. We, we got, uh, today, as you know, uh, a little bit later tonight, things are going to get a little bit, a little bit more fecal, a little bit more funny. Um, it's fucking up Mike's groove. I, I'm glad that you understand that. Like, I can't focus on what I'm doing when I'm hearing a ton of kids just screaming. Like, like fucking right on the other side of the wall. Like, it's fucking nuts. Uh, we got tomorrow. Uh, that multiplayer bo block at 2 p.m. Right? That's, of course, on Rev's channel... We got, I think Vinny's going to be coming by. I, I think uh, Limes should be there. I, I'm going to certainly try to be there, right? Um, that's cool. And then later on, I'm going to do that Bug Snacks DLC. The, uh, there was a concern that I wouldn't be able to stream it. Some, one of you messaged me. You were like, oh, well, I saw a streamer who tried to do the Bug Snacks uh, DLC, and they had to do the entire ending of the game over again. Well, no. Um, 
No, that that that's I was able to boot up the game. That's not going to be an issue. So I'll be able to just dive right in and start that shit. Um start blasting the poop music. Yeah, what if I put the speakers out the window and I blast the poop tunes and then all those kids shit themselves? I bet that would end the fun real quick. What do you think? Like real real fucking quick. Like dozens of kids are sh shitting themselves in unison. The brown herd round the world. It's a banger. No, it is. No, it on it unironically rules. Um. So yeah, I'm going to do the Bug Snacks DLC. I did get the game to run. I am going to be able to do the DLC. And then on Sunday, Lime's going to do something. And then we're going to do some Mario Kart. And then Vinny's going to do something at 9 p.m. Eastern. So that's the plan. Uh, if you got some extra funds, please help out. Again, let me repeat this. You're not... Um, you're not... You're. I, I can't believe how loud that is. Holy fucking Christ. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, guys. It's 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 just really distracting. Um, like what the fuck was I saying? Fuck. Okay, if you're worried, like you're you're donating money to like a war, like okay, you're not again, you're not buying bombs, you're not buying fucking guns or ammo or anything like that. Okay, this is for humanitarian relief. This is medical supplies. This is food and stuff like that. This is not non-lethal aid. So you don't have to feel bad about that. You don't have to worry about that. Um, do you have headphones? They are so loud. They are cutting through my fucking noise-canceling headphones. I shit you not. That is how, that is how loud these kids are being. Okay, I'm gonna just try to continue my stream, even though I'm in like, yeah, ADHD hell because of this. Uh, what else do we got? Alright, so we saw... Shadami, a little insane. Uh, we've got... This one, it's called... Now you you you've you just as you just saw, and as many of you ha have seen over many previous uh, streams. Okay, these these fanfics, they always handle mental illness really well. Listen, it's a tough subject, but these people will always present it with with sensitivity, respect. And grace and poise. And I'm always surprised by that, right? I, I think I I'm, I'm I'm constantly surprised at the amount of subtlety that these people are able to provide when they approach these topics. Uh, and I think this story is a great example of that. It's called insanity. Uh, okay now now this chat, is you okay you are the main character right in fact it's a shadow x reader story 
So that means that's right. You, you are going to be romantically involved with the hog. That's right, guys. That's right. Whether or not you like that, it's happening. Oh yeah, oh yeah, it's happening. Oh yeah, your eye color. Okay, so what are all the eye colors? Brown, blue, green. The idea. Some people have like a grayish color. Um. What have you, uh, whatever, your, your eye color. Glance over to the person being carried away who was about to be executed. Just another regular day, you thought. But you knew the person deserved it anyway. So you don't care. In fact, you laugh because of it, you sick fuck. Chat, you people are sick. You're gonna laugh at this? Guys. They deserved it? Why did they deserve it? Human being with 45 months. Thank you, man. You don't care. In fact, you laugh because of it. Why? Because you have been here for almost all your life. Ever since you were a child. And no one talked to you because they were afraid. You were a loner and probably always would be. Your parents are dead because of you. So what? As long as you're alive and still breathing, you don't worry about it. It wasn't all your fault that you were stuck in the position you were in right now. Oh, wait. Yes, it is. Garuda Smash says, These are some pretty unsubstantiated claims. Y you guys don't hear that screaming? As long as you're alive and still breathing, you don't worry about it. It wasn't all your fault that you were stuck in the position you were in right now. Oh, wait. Yes, it is. Creak? Not like, you know, a creaky door, but like Dawson's Creek. You know, like, 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 like a brook or a small river, right? Creak. Yeah. <laughs> what? I hear the sound of a babbling brook is what I hear, right? Someone walks in your room. It, it's just, it's so distracting. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Someone walks in your room. Oh, great. Not him again. Can he ever learn what privacy is? The same bat walks into your room. Hello, Earl. His orange eyes look at yours annoyingly. Good morning, Brain Curse, Shadow Fairy, Mantis the Boggins, Magnum Dom, Noli Cannoli, Draco 55, Coley Cow, K Train, Eri Bagel, Feral Trash Mammal, Nice Round TV, Sure, Why Not, Graphics Loss, Denusium, Anodyne, uh, Meat Shields, Great Noir, Cyanide Tide, Nocturne, Retro Dog, J Darth Jawa, X Ninja, Flamadeus, Gin Juice, Tra Chasing, Burritos Down, Blood Realm, X Albino Octopus, Amy, Lilia, Scythe Lord, Sucks, er Ness Thenic. DJ Andromeda Official Peach Tea Dreams Tiggy SRK Zangoose Sprode H Dude Ver Mer Jabroni Mike Official Aqua Skull Fat Tribble Shy Guy Buddy 86 Unknown Autistical Sounds Like Braps Miss Major David Loves You Karlovich Tomushi Dano Kong Was Zos Metal Queen Metal Trash Trollin Chris, Mario, Tentacle Cuddles, Lee Ham and Egg, Zemi Art, Skeletinu, Startles, 
uh, Kameda's Ass, Wizmaster, Graphic Sloth, Prelude to Madness, Koala Genocide, Eager Wolf, Gat Taint, Emo Gree, Sri Gloria, Ocarina Boy, Cake Cake, Adoptive Parents, Matt Mellon, Exterminator, Wrong Guy, Nice Round, Captain Conk, Mintelect, E Lake, Goofballs, Basil Jones, Shut Down the Atoms, Gustav, Jarrah, Big Smelly Socks, Hex and Hell, Torgo Crankor, Fat Wick, Sonic the Hedgehog, Doll Meme, Zintart, Sans Chan, Rouge 105, The Elk Clown, Cheesy Draws, Anna LRK, Kitty McCool, Extreme Bowling, Hunt Them Down. NX, Sada, Sly Walrus, Rate Lore, Donacon, Coleridge, JBD, Lars, Mirak, Riff Hawk, C Bum, Dr. Balls. You get the idea. I can't keep doing this. He sets down a tray on your bed. Here we go again. I hate shots. He grabs the vaccine and stabs it on your left arm. Ow! Why did you just stab me without letting me know? Now, fucking, now Bill Gates will have GPS data about everywhere I go, where I poop. Now I got 5G inside me. I'm gay now. Wah. I'm gay now. Wah. He closes his eyes and sighs. Then he leaves. I hate him. You thought. Why couldn't he just skip the vaccine every morning? You were positive you could go a whole day without it, but you can't. Because you were a psycho. <laughs> a monster. Mental. <laughs> and you needed to get the hell out of that place. <laughs> yes, vaccines, well known for their ability to suppress mental illness. I don't think this person knows what a vaccine is. What gave it away? You change into your daily clothes. A color of top. Long sleeve with color of pants. Bottoms, pants, whatever, whatever. It's good enough. You step outside your room and you walk through the same hallway you always walk through every morning. You could hear the little jazz music playing on the intercom. So soft you could barely hear it. You like jazz? 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 Do you like jazz? Tiny little saxophones. Tiny, tiny, teeny, tiny little saxophones. So, as you can see, this is not a prison. This is a mental hospital. Right? And you'll also notice that they are executing people at the mental hospital every day. Like, is this taking place in the 1910s? People peeked out of their rooms to see you pass by. Some hissed at you and some only stare. You didn't care though. It was normal to you, to everyone. Then after a few minutes of walking, you stop in front of one of the doors. You knock. One flew over the, the cuckoo's nest. Yeah. One, one flew over the hedgehog's nest. You see someone hand, you see someone's hand open the door and they look at you in a kind hearted way. It was your doctor, doctor name. Why? Good morning. I'm not doing that again. It's nice to see you today. Please come in. Why? Good morning, Jabroni Mike. It's nice to see you today. Please come in. You thank her, him and walk in the room. A scent of apple cider fills your nose, and the warmth makes you relax a bit. At least not everybody hates me. She, he, hands you some tea, and you hold it near your face. You get comfortable, and you start sipping the beverage. Delicious, as always. Germa. Dr. Germa. 
Okay, you you want it you you. You you want you want the doc the doctor to be German chat is that okay the doctor is German chat. Bill White, good morning. Your name, nice to see you today. Yeah, please come in. Go Sox. Now right, let me go park the car and then we'll go watch the Sox game on a TV. You thank her, him, and walk in the room. A scent of apple cider fills your nose, and the warmth makes you relax a bit. <laughs> it's me, Jeremy Griffin. Yeah, freaking sweet. That yeah, freaking wicked, wicked, wicked cool. Right, the Dark Souls boss is wicked hot. Yeah. They hand you some tea and you hold it near your face. You get comfortable and start sipping the beverage. Delicious as always. You glance over at the doctor. They, he was filling out some important form, which caused them to have a, a, a saucy dumpy look is there something bothering you doctor i could leave if you want me to he turns his head slowly towards you and looks like he's about to cry uh, look i really hate to say this but i need to move on to another hospital there are hundreds of thousands of people just like you waiting for my hospitalization what just like me are they comparing me to an insane person? You stare at them with disappointment. Are you saying that I'm insane? Why? Are you turning out to be just like the others? You always told me I was different. You liar! Jerma, you were sus. You were sus all along. You're the 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 the, the, the sussy imposter. You. You know what my favorite Jerma fact is? Is that he's never played Among Us. Once. He never played it once. He's never played it. The only person you trusted had turned back on you. And now was and was now leaving to care for other people just like you. The doctor looks at you with sadness covering his face. Mike, you know you're mental. So stop trying to deny it. Oh, that's the medical term. Mental. You've been stuck in this hospital for years now, and you won't ever be able to get out. You know what you did in your past, and you can't do anything about it. This is your life, and this is how you're going to be living it until your heart stops beating. You look at them in shock. I can't believe you. You. Man, this is some real pre professional behavior, huh? Wait, Mike, that's not what I meant. Tears start to form at the edge of your eyes. Your heart starts aching and you fall on the floor. Pitch black. Starring Vin Diesel. The next thing you know, you're in a bed with a table by your side. And some medical machines you know nothing about. You glance over to your left and see a young man sitting in a chair. Staring right back at you. Yeah, I bet you were wondering where the part with the hedgehog was going to come into play. I mean, I, you know... Up to this point, you could have been forgiven for totally forgetting that this had anything to do with Sonic the Hedgehog, right? But, I mean, dude... One of my favorite aspects of this, one of the things that, in my mind, makes these fanfics so funny and enjoyable is the fact that... You take these characters and you put them into positions that they weren't made for. That they weren't meant for. You know what I'm saying? Like, that to me is the, the, the comedy of it. Like, why, yeah, why, why is Sonic the Hedgehog punching a, a pregnant woman? Like, what, you know. Put them into positions. Yeah, that's what furries do. Phrasing... You see a young man sitting in a chair. Yeah, he's a young hog. Is what he actually is. Uh, Dr. Lisa Sint... 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 Oh, I can't pronounce that. Or I call her Dr. Lisa. Okay, uh, his, his headcanon is that the doctor is Lisa Simpson. He's sussy. You like 
jazz ito comes lot this place looks familiar wait never i've been there so we all here i don't know my doctor's name so i just put in doctor doctor dr eggman jk dr something is gonna be my doctor's name xd dr doctor <laughs> give me the news i got a bad case of loving you uh planyab ser un psychopata genital Oh, right, a mental hospital. Why my memory have to come back? Dr. Mary Jane. Dr. Cheeks. Dr. Flamingo. Okay, these are all terrible. What the fuck? What? Insanity, part two. You stare at the black hedgehog with curiosity. And wonder if he would be your new doctor. His red eyes look deeply into your color of eyes. Eyes. You look down at what you were wearing. Oh crap! I'm naked! Shadow the Hedgehog saw your pee pee. You quickly cover yourself with the bed covers and look at the man in anger. Hey! A little less staring would be nice. His eyes widened and he began to turn a visible bright red. Uh, sorry. He turned around and his ears dropped of embarrassment. Damn, he's cute. Whenever you finally get yourself in some comfortable clothes that were provided by the mysterious stranger, you stand up and begin to head out the room. You try to open the door, but it's locked. Hey, doctor, could you please unlock the door for me? He looked at you in confusion and said, No, uh, we're gonna lock toes. But, but I don't want to lock toes, you say in fear and dismay. Well, too fucking bad. Get them socks off. Okay, none of that happened. I made, I made that up. He looked at you in confusion, and he said, I'm not a doctor here. I'm a patient. Okay, that last one wasn't accurate, but... It was sure was fun. Random picture of a Chaos Emerald for no reason. Like we're in a mental hospital. Woo! Sus bucket. Um, it's a whole bucket of sus. Why am I naked? <laughs> you gotta collect the chaos several for the for the good ending. Why the fuck are you in my room then, freak? I right, I'm a head out. Warning, this comment may be offensive. You couldn't believe it. There were reasons why you couldn't have a roommate. And those reasons were always kept a deadly secret by you. And to make it worse, it's a guy. Can't my life get any better? You're a patient as well, you asked? Yes, I am. Why do you ask? Well, it's according to my documents and my past that I'm not allowed to have any roommate of any sort. I'm a light sleeper. Oh, I guess we're alike then. What do you mean? You questioned. I'm not allowed to have a roommate as well. 
You stare at him in surprise and finally manage to say something. So well, you're just full of surprises, aren't you? He looked at you with a nervous smile and the most heartwarming feeling came across your chest. He is so adorable! Totes adorbs. He stood up and you were in awe of how tall he was. No, he's tiny. What the fuck are you talking about? He was like half the, the height of one of the gun soldiers in Shadow the Hedgehog. He looked down at you with dreamy eyes and you let out a tiny squeal. You couldn't help but think how his soft lips would taste like. Are you all right? He asked worriedly. What? Oh, uh, yeah, I'm good. You said suddenly. Does he even really have lips? Nope. He walked over to a wall and put his forehead hard against it. Ow! Why did he do that? Just fucking slammed his head into a wall. Can I tell her? Will she fear me like the others? Would she trust me? But damn, not here. She's beautiful, pure, perfect. I can't live without her. Okay, he's known me for... Four minutes? Yeah, didn't y'all just meet? Your, your. <laughs> what the hell? What's he doing? Does he have major mental issues? Bigger problems than me? Okay, that doesn't matter. You're locked in a room with this super cute guy. Yeah! Shadow's POV. Why must you be so adorable, so pure, so pretty, Sai? Am I being ignored right now or what? You yelled. Oh, sorry, um, lady. I have a name, you know. It's Jabroni Mike. I'm Shadow. His name is so mysterious and sexy, he's perfect for me! Look, Jabroni Mike. I would really like to sit and talk about some random crap, but I need your help with something. Ellipses? Promise to not tell anybody this. I've been trying to escape from this living hell for years and always get caught every time I try. They keep on moving me from room to room with a different roommate every time. They put me with patients that I match mostly with emotionally and mentally. Who do you mean by they? Don't you know? The people who kill you. What? Whenever you move into rooms like these, they take you to another little room every day. You have your daily routine. Get killed. Get tested in your dream. Then, they bring you back to life. So you catch that? You get what's going on here? Alright, so this hospital is not what it seems. It's some sort of experiment, right? They kill you. Right? And then you... It's not like a regular death. You have like a dream in your death. You have a death dream. And then they test your death dream. And then they bring you back to life. Wait a minute, they can't do that! That's illegal! 
Yes, but th that's that's right, Jawa. You've been paying attention. Some people also get executed, which is just a regular death. But do they resurrect them too? Or... You know, like what? Dude, it, 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 you know what? It sounds like the plot of a bad Christopher Nolan movie. And by that, of course, I just mean a Christopher Nolan movie, right? Um, Tenet 2, yeah. This concept, it's it's like ripped off from some kind of like high concept sci-fi movie that, that was like really mid. I've seen this movie. What movie is this? No, I don't think it's a Christopher Nolan movie, but it's like some kind of shitty sci-fi movie where, where like, yeah, you die and get brought back over and over for like some kind of corporate reason, like corporations because of corporations. The movie with Tom Cruise, the OA on Netflix. I, may, maybe the day after tomorrow, the edge of tomorrow. I think it's that. Yeah, the edge of tomorrow. They just straight up, straight up ripped this off from like that kind of shit, right? The goon of t <laughs> the goon of tomorrow. Uh, what? Oh, yeah. But that's impossible. Once you're dead, you can't come back. It's never been done. Sometimes dead is better. Remember, you're in a mental hospital. Here, there's some things that not even the President of the, of the United States knows about. Well, I feel like there's a lot of things the President of the United States doesn't know about. See, this mental hospital can be described in one word. I was in the foot of the Himalayas with Xi Jinping. Shadow the Hedgehog. So here's the deal, Jack. We're gonna take the hedgehogs, put them in the pool. And then when the quills get wet, we're gonna touch the quills to turn blonde in the sun. And the kids like to play with the quills on the hedgehog. And then they, um, you know, Kill the hedgehog, analyze his dreams, bring him back to life. Then, take him back to life, put him in a room in the mental hospital. You're gonna have him lock toes with a man. It's the hedgehog and a man locking toes, Jack. That's what America's all about. Freedom and locking toes with a hedgehog in a pool. Am I right, Jack? That's the deal, fat. God bless America. Whether you like it or not, you will be tested on and killed for results. Results. They want to know how you'll survive when they send you to a different dimension with a partner. I, this, okay, I think I understand now. I had no idea that all this crap is was going on in this side of the hospital i've been locked up in a room on the east side for years and it feels great to look at a different ceiling when i wake up <laughs> i have my first roommate too you winked at him and nudged him slightly he blushed a little and gave a small small smile in return you couldn't help but give him a cheeky smile Cheeky. So cheeky. He looked down at his shoes and closed his eyes, and he stayed silent for a few minutes. Why are you here anyway? At least he has shoes on. Could be worse. He slowly turned his head to you and sighed. I am here because of a terrible accident that happened years ago. Okay, um, you remember how I warned you guys when the last story got 
batshit crazy. Okay, that's about to happen again. Mar Maria. Chat's like, Maria? Oh, you, you, you wish, you wish it was Maria. You, let me tell you something. You wish it was Maria. Okay? You wish it was. I'm here because of a terrible accident that happened years ago. I was only a young boy and a huge target for teasing. I didn't go to school, but people made fun of me on the streets because of my negative attitude. <laughs> Hedgehog loser! <laughs> Edgelord, Edgelord! <laughs> edgy, edgy bitch! <laughs> edgy little bitch! <laughs> They also teased me because of the fact that my parents were dead. <laughs> Little edgelord with dead parents. <laughs> dead, dead parents. <laughs> Loser. At one point, I was pissed as hell. And I couldn't stand them anymore. One night, I decided to just play a playful joke back at them by chasing them down the street with a gun. Hold up! Where you going? It's just a prank, bro. Where you going, bro? It's just a prank. Just a funny little joke, bro. Run, 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 faster than my bullet. They ran like babies. And I laughed at them so hard. Dude. This is just the background of the Shadow the Hedgehog video game. Like, this is the real backstory about why he has guns and shit. He's just the fucking Joker. This is this is what I was trying to tell you before when I was like, oh, you think that you thought like Amy was the Joker? Remember? No. This is the fucking Joker. I laughed at them so hard. I lost complete control of what I was doing and pulled the trigger. Next thing I know. Wait, oh. Next thing I know, there's a person on the ground, dead. Blood spilling all over the white pavement. You know, I pulled the trigger as a prank. Okay, I'm trying to think of a single time in my life I've seen white pavement. Okay, is he talking about concrete? Yeah, it's concrete. What's he talking about? Because pavement means blacktop. It means asphalt. Doesn't it? I can it can it mean sidewalk? Uh, maybe it's maybe may, maybe they just mean sidewalk. But you don't refer to sidewalks as pavement, am I right? He was running with a loaded gun. Well, it wouldn't have been a very funny prank if the gun wasn't loaded, don't you think? The British call sidewalk pavements, do they? In the UK, that's how you say sidewalk. Oh, okay, okay. Um... They must be, I guess they're, yeah, I guess it's a UK author. Um, okay, so I didn't know what to do. So I just ran off to a random house. As soon as I got there, I shot everyone living there and smeared their blood all over the wall.
as you do. And that was the moment I knew that I was addicted to killing people for fun. E pranks. It was just a prank, bro. Bruh. 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 <laughs> Funny massacre. The, I think about this though. I didn't know what to do, so I ran off to a random house. As soon as I got there, I shot everyone living there and smeared their blood all over the wall. And that was the moment I knew that I was addicted to killing people for fun. What? Someone in chat said, said something like, Oh, remember when school shootings were funny? Me neither. Okay. I said this earlier tonight, and I'm going to say it again. What I personally find comical about these fanfics is that characters that were meant to be in a video game about going fast are put into fucking, like, situations like, I don't know, fuck, being in a, a, a mental hospital, punching a pregnant woman, drunk driving. Okay, like, what... Obviously, okay, a fucking, a, a fucking pregnant woman getting punched is not funny to me. I don't see pregnant women getting punched and, and I laugh at it. Obviously. However, the idea of Sonic the Hedgehog punching a pregnant woman is very funny to me. And I'm, and I, and I'm tired of pretending it's not! <laughs> <laughs> I'm tired! I'm tired of pretending it's not! I'm tired of pretending it's not! Because it is funny. Get over yourself. Okay. Oh my god. Please don't be afraid of me. I would never hurt you. I got over my addiction by doing something else. Hurting myself. I hurt myself today to see if I could still feel pain. I forgot what the song goes like, but that song, you know that one. I like the pain. I got over my addiction by doing something else. Hurting myself. He then turns to the PC that is next to him and boots up an emulator he loads up the ROM where he's trying to unlock all 300 paths of Shadow the Hedgehog. He only has 24 of them. Now I hurt myself. Oh god, not again. <laughs> That was the moment I knew I was addicted to killing people for fun. Gee, you think so? On another monitor, he opens up Twitter and proceeds to doom scroll. <laughs> uh. You. Shadow, I'm so sorry. And for a snack, a credit card. You leaned by his broad shoulder, leaned by his broad shoulders and felt his warmth against you and you melted by his touch. He noticed you gazing upon him, but you quickly look away. He smiles and lets his ears fall, which touch you slightly on the forehead. His broad shoulders, but he doesn't have broad shoulders. After a few minutes of quiet, you get up and try opening the door. Crap. Forgot it was locked. Ellipses. All of a sudden, 
a woman with huge boobs walks in and takes a few notes. She then looks up with a hard stare and glares at you. Okay. So, question. How many of you think that this woman's breasts are going to be relevant to the story in any way, shape, or form? Right? Like... <laughs> Someone in chat said, I thought you made that shit up. All right. Well, you know, I didn't. I don't have to make things like that up. It sounds like something I would make up, but it's not. Guys, Chekhov's boobs. Exactly. Chekhov's boobs. They can't fucking introduce giant fat tits in... in you know, act one and then not have the tits be relevant in act three because the tits, of course, have to be relevant. All right. There's some theories in the chat. Joaco says later on, the big titties deflect a 50 caliber bullet. She breasted boobily into the room and tittered up to the patient's. The woman with the large breasts then begins to nurse Shadow. $20 says that this is tits the bat, and this is technically foreshadowing. I'll tell you what, Meridian. If this, is, if this turns out to be tits the bat, you have to donate $20 to the charity, okay? Is that, is that, is that cool? Are you cool with that? Didn't you read it already? I honestly don't remember if it's Tits the Bat or not. I, I, I don't remember. I d legitimately do not remember. I'm, I'm going to tell you, I don't, I don't think so, but I, don't, I legitimately don't remember. Okay. So. It could be. I. Can I DM you about it? Uh, no. Well, what is? Well, what, what do you want to DM me about? What? If it's not tits the bat, you also have to donate twenty dollars to charity. Sometimes a big titty is just a big titty, dude. Right? Sometimes a tit is just a tit. Thank you, Sigmund Freud. Actually, Sigmund Freud didn't say sometimes a cigar is just a cigar, did he? It was like somebody else who was like criticizing Freud, I think. You know what, Wiz? That's, that's the, actually the best possible outcome. Freud was the one who said a cigar is always a penis. Okay, let's go. All right, huge boobs. Sorry, I'm just so distracted. Um, huge boobs. Um, what are you talking about? Let's go. What are you talking about? Here, I, I, I figured it out. I know where we are. Annoyed look. You need to take your daily test. Now hurry up and let's leave. You look over at Shadow and tears begin to form in your eyes. He kisses you on the forehead and pushes your hair color hair back from your eyes. How pointless is, is this? You get pulled away by the lady and take once last glance at Shadow before your death. Your heart starts beating fast and you start to cry silently. You get put into a chair and you're strapped down with powerful metal belts. Man. <laughs> Greetings, miss. <laughs> My name is Dr. Zorto Colonius. 
but you may call me Zortok. <laughs> now let's begin. <laughs> Yo. What? Yo, is this a Sonic character? Who, no, seriously, who is this? How is Mike not making this shit up? I'm, I'm glad, I'm flattered that you think I'm this creative, actually. <laughs> I honestly don't know. Who the fuck is Dr. Zorto Colonius, dude? Earlier in the fucking story, they let us choose the name of the doctor. And now they're like, fuck you. This is the name of the doctor. Now you don't get to pick anymore. And not only that, but we're going to make his name really convoluted and weird. What the fuck is this name? Zorto Colonius Michael from Rick and Morty. Zortok. Zortok is a heartburn medication. Wait a minute. This is just Dr. Germa with a mustache. Typing Zorto Colonius into Google gives zero results. Thank you for Googling that, Chunky. Lars, thank you. Chunky, Google this. Chunky, Google Zorto Colonius. Chunky. Chunky, please. Zantac. My okay, it's called Zantac. Dr. Zortuck. <laughs> what the fuck is his name? I like how his name has the word colon in it. He turns on a machine and you feel a sudden and very painful painful shock in you. Your vision goes pitch black and you die. I pressed the wrong button. You opened your eyes and looked around. You... Or did I? You opened your eyes and looked around. You saw a table and two drinks. There was a carpet and a beautiful painting of a rose. The lights were dim, and you looked behind you. Well, I think I might enjoy myself in this dream. Finished reading. The end. Yeah. Yep. What? <laughs> yep. That's it. <laughs> yep. Fuck you. That's it. <laughs> That's the ending. That's it. That was horrible. Th look at the title of the stream. Does it say good Sonic fanfics? No, it doesn't. That's the ending. Yeah. We didn't get to fuck Shadow. Nope. The boobs never came into play. Yep. Chekhov's boobs. <laughs> it's just fucking... Totally irrelevant titties for no reason. That woman had huge boobs for no reason. I'll admit, thank you for 43 months, man. <laughs> she just had huge tits. For no reason. <laughs> for no fucking reason, bro. Oh, man. It was for the male gaze. It was for, it was for the gamers. <laughs> I think I might enjoy myself in this dream. What does that even mean? What is the insinuation? You're going to have sex with Shadow? Is that what they're trying to say? Coley, thank you for the gift sub, Ben. Oh, these? My boobies? My massive titties? My super stuffed up milkies? In the dream, Shadow gets big tits. That's the insinuation. Let's take a look at the comments. Congrats, you have unlocked the good ending. Okay. Here's a comment from two days ago. The fat fucking Garfield. 
Hey, what? M mommy milkers? Yes, let's go. Kill me if you want. It's fine. K kill mommy milkers? Kill me. Mommy milkers. Smiley face. Big boobs? Child anyway, so... I need more. Lol, big boobs described. Yo, the fucking fat titties, they really stole the show. As you can see, the baps were a real crowd pleaser. I would say these people enjoyed the baps more than they enjoyed the fucking story itself. And also, uh, hold on, for, lur Lurker with five gift subs, buddy, thank you. And I think if I'm seeing correctly, we have, in fact, hit $20,000 for Ukrainian refugees. Chad, that's awesome. Thank you so much. And of course, what does that mean? That means we're going to be making our own fanfic. Not tonight. At some point in the future. At some point in the not too distant future, we will make our own fanfic. I'm not showing you my feet. That's thirty thousand. If you raise thirty thousand dollars in the next hour, I will show you a, a foot. Thirty thousand dollars. I want. I'm not saying. I'm not saying another ten thousand dollars. I'm saying. I want 30,000. Okay, so 30. Uh, so basically, I, basically, I, I want $50,000 by 10 p.m. Eastern. You'll see one, you'll see one foot. Fuck you, Mike. You're moving the goalpost. Nah. No. Which one? The right foot. Guys, I'm not showing my feet. Stop. Flying Walrus, thank you for eight months. <laughs> Richoids, please. <laughs> Richoids. Uh, Alright, so, that, so that's done. Uh, and also we got 20k, so that's kind of fucking awesome. Guys, thank you. Feet is against TOS. Is it really though? I'm gonna tell Limes you're being a foot tease again. Yo, I think Limes is like a little bit of a foot hound because every time, like, like she'll show up and be like, wow, if I say anything about feet, she will magically appear in the chat and be like, Mike teasing feet. Mike is a tease. It ha Dude, that happened like four times already. You all, no, you all saw it. You all saw it. You all saw it happen. Dumb guy, thank you for the gift subs, man. It's against TOS. Well, what about, yeah, hot tub? Dumb guy, thank you so much, man. Lime's coming in with the big 30k donation. <laughs> A foot hound. Toes are against the toes? Toes against toes? Toss. Toes against toss. Alright, this fucking story sucked. Now, I want to pivot real quick to me taking a piss. I'm going to do that. Alright. Um, while that's happening... Uh, why don't you take a look at, at this? Okay, I'm gonna be right back.
You didn't hear piss. Stop it. Did the screaming children stop? I don't hear them anymore. And you know what's happening now? I am... Worried that I like created a problem. I wasn't mean though. Like I wasn't nasty. I just went out there. I saw some parents and I was like, yeah, uh, you know, I'm working uh, up there. Like, is there any way this could not happen? And the guy was like, he was like, you've been living here like, like over six months. He was like, is this not the first time you heard noise like this? And I was like, oh, it's going to go that way, huh? And I'm like, all right, well, if you can't do anything about it, then just tell me that, okay? Working with the Omega Law. Okay, so can you, can, can you, can you fucking, what, what else, can, what is this then? What is this then? Damn, boy, were you just frying chicken in there? <laughs> For real, though. You piss loud as fuck. I think that's pretty cool. Yeah, I, I mean... Whatever. Um... Oh, I gotta calm down. Okay, so that happened. Uh, and now this is happening. Uh, in about an hour... I'm gonna say... Yeah, in about an hour, about an hour, you were going to see, I, there, I hear the screaming again. I hear it again. You are going to see Joel Fecal Funny Varg Skeletor destroy a computer, I think. He's going to take his fat plep, he's going to drop it on the PC, and he's going to let gravity do its thing. Okay. Uh, nope, it, it, that's gonna happen at 11, 30, did I do that math right? Nope, 10, okay, I did, I did the math, in about an hour and a half, no, okay, in about two hours, fuck, my bad, in about two hours, like that video of a box crushing a car, <laughs> yes, <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> He's going to whip out his plep. It's going to be like a fucking wrecking ball. Just tearing down a PC. I think that's what's going to happen. He said he was trying to get everything together for that. I don't think if he was able to pull it off. But it would be pretty fucking pogged if, if, if he could. Uh, and then tomorrow, uh, some tabletop stuff. Math simulator, Carla. It's going to be stuff like... Uh, Snake oil and things like that. Rev's got a game he wants to try called Fun Employed. It sounds cool. Uh, I think um, I think Vin will be there. Uh, maybe Limes will be there. Rev will be there. I'm going to try to be there, of course. Um, I think Gear and Zot are going to are gonna try to stop by, too. Uh, so that, that that's tomorrow at 2. And then afterwards, I'm doing the Bug Snacks DLC. So for the Bug Snacks Bunger Sex DLC, will you have to be will you have to be the Bunger Fleshlight attachment to play it? Uh, I ordered a burger from um, Mr. Beast. I got a Mr. Beast burger and it's hooked up to a a a vibe. Basically, it's like strapped to a vibrator. Um, and it, it has, there's haptic feedback. It's plugged into the USB port. Um, so every time, like, I, you know, I see a bunger in the game, it's gonna go bunger, 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 bunger. And it's gonna, like, vibrate my whole, my whole shit. You know what I'm saying? That's my shit. That's my shit. The future of gaming. Right? Um... Sir, this is a Wendy's. Will you be on Joel, Joel's GeoGuessr stream? I could... You, you, so... Chat has been saying... They want to see me duel Joel in GeoGuessr. I, 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 I asked him, I was like, could we do that one night? 
Saturday night. Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't know if we're gonna. I don't, I don't know if he's gonna. He might have something else planned. Honestly, he might have something else planned. But he said maybe. So I think we'll probably do it real quick. Yes, he'll kick my ass. He'll embarrass me and all that. I'll look like an asshole, and then he'll. I'll leave and he'll do something else. I think. I think that's what we're gonna do. Uh, he said, get a clue. I'm going to have to try to get a clue. Uh, and then, again, Lime's doing something on Sunday at 2. And then Mario Kart, and then Vinny's going to do something. And that's um, the deal, Fat. Now, one of you, and this is this is not really related to anything at all, actually. Um, one of you messaged me something on Twitter, or you add, you added me on Twitter. You 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 tagged me in something. All right, you said, get a load of this, and I clicked on the tweet, and the contents of the tweet were the following. It said, just saw Sonic's the Hedgehog three cartoon movie for kids. So funny, family episodes. I have no idea what this is an excerpt from. I have no idea what it is, but it's uncanny how the entire thing is a just a really good summary of all the fanfics that we've read over like the past fucking two years. Hold on. I, I mean, I don't even, again, I don't even know what the fuck the, 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 this is. I have no idea what this is. I don't know where this came from. I don't know what it is. Honey, where are you? Ah. Mommy is a scrap the street. Ah. <laughs> Mommy, wake up. <laughs> it's Mario. Doctor, are my wife and kid? Your wife is fine, but the baby. I went to see if mom was okay. me out of the house it's all just a misunderstanding i swear swear you betray me i don't even know about him get out of my house <laughs> why did you do that give mom a chance i can't laugh without mom huh? go back to your room why did you evict mom from the house? It's not her fault. Shut up! <laughs> Does anyone know what this is? Does anyone have any idea what the fuck this is? Where did this come from? What is this? This is a this is a clip from a fucking YouTube Elsa Gate garbage. Okay, I need this full video right now. I need this is not Sonic Underground, okay? Maybe Sonic X. But this is definitely not Sonic Underground. I need this full video right now. Dude, there is so much happening this is fucking elsa gate shit from you so this this is made for kids 
It's David Lynch making an Elsa Gate video. It's three three lame studios. Sonic six feet underground. <laughs> Now, here's so just 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 before I was saying that what I find funny about a lot of these fanfics is that you're taking characters that were not meant to be in situations like this and you're putting them into situations like this and that creates comedy. For me, anyway. I don't know. Maybe you disagree. But that's fine. We're allowed to disagree. In this instance, the reason that these characters have been placed into these situations is because of SEO. Which makes it, like, even more fucking bizarre, don't you think? Like, this, the reason that, again, the reason that any of these characters get used is because of SEO purposes. This is AI. I'm not saying it's AI. What I'm saying it is deliberately done to game a, a fucking algorithm. By a person. An AI didn't do this. I mean, these things, I think these kinds of videos can get made by AI. Hold on. This, is this that somebody found the video, it looks like? The full video. Holy fucking shit. It says, My wife, my wife, please come back home. Sorry, Amy. Happy ending. Poor Sonic life. And it's a fucking 31 minute video of this. Uh, hold on, because I don't, I'm not. Because I know that the that the clip is like safe to put on stream. Dude, somebody is brainwashing Sonic. They put a fucking. Yeah. Holy fucking shit. Robotnik put like a mind control device on baby Sonic. All right, listen, listen. No, this is insane. Th this video is fucking batshit crazy. Okay, here's the deal. I am going to have to watch this. <laughs> he put Shadow in the dumpster. <laughs> okay, look. I have to watch this alone. And I have to make sure there's no, like, TOS shit in there. And then one night, we are just going to watch that entire thing. Yeah. He's going to jerk off to it. No, dick. I'm going to make sure that it's fucking safe to watch on Twitch and doesn't have anything too fucked up in it. Amy dying on the ground is the stream thumbnail. Oh, good, 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 good. So, I mean, can we just, like, like just breaking down this clip for a minute, right? Like, okay, so we got vehicular may mayhem, right? We've got, we've got this, right? We got, okay, so get, check off that box. Okay, show Drunken Shadow! <laughs> I'm saying he's drunk, but I don't know if he's drunk, all right? <laughs> Fucking Shadow, Shadow the Hedgehog driving a car and did fucking vehicular manslaughter, okay? We got Amy bloody on the ground. By the way, she's pregnant. <laughs> she's pregnant! Dude, this is like checking off all the boxes for a Sonic fanfic, dude. Fjord, thank you for a full year, bud. Okay? Just checking off all the fucking boxes for a fanfic. They have abs, which by the way is disgusting. That is fucking disgusting. Never, ever, ever put abs on these characters. That is rancid. How dare you? That is fucking vomitous. Stop doing that. Stop putting abs on these characters. I'm gonna tell you something. That's not the first time I've seen that bullshit. Far from it. That happens a lot. Stop it. Stop putting abs on these characters. They don't have room for abs. Abs do not belong on these characters. Stop. Stop. 
They don't. They don't belong there. It doesn't look right. It looks horrible. Really disturbing. Really disturbing. Abs on these characters. They all have Knuckles hands. I don't know why. I don't know why they all have Knuckles hands. I've watched this clip like, like fucking 10 times. I don't know. Uh, Kane, thank you for three months, man. All right, you got bloody pregnant Amy in the middle of the street. You got there's the abs. You got crying baby Sonic. All right, you got the hospital scene. You got Amy in a fucking coma. I'm telling you. It's a checklist. This video is a checklist for all the worst fucking Sonic fan fiction tropes. And then Dr. Mario, right? You got Dr. fucking Mario. He, he looks mad. Why is he pissed? <laughs> like, why is he so pissed? <laughs> He's fucking furious for some reason, right? You got... The baby for he's gonna beat the shit out of this child. I guess he doesn't like he doesn't beat the shit out of the child, right? They go to the park, right? They're happy, and then they're not happy. Okay, you got okay, you got Sonic fucking quaffing a Heineken. All right, he's chugging a Heineken, dude. Amy is not pregnant anymore. That means she lost the baby. In the car accident. Like. The baby was killed. What the fuck? Sick bug collection though. Okay, so Sonic is alcoholic and abusive. Amy has a fucking black eye. This shit happens too. This is another fucking trope. Right? Somebody's fucking abusive. Somebody's an abusive fucking scumbag. The Sonic as a fucking, psycho fucking psychopath tracks with everything in the, in the... Sonic is always a fucking, like, degenerate dirtbag fucking, like, like, sociopathic, like, abusive asshole. He always. He always is. I honestly, it's, it's rare. I was saying this earlier tonight. It's rare when he's not. He's a narcissist. It's rare. I'm saying in these fanfics, it's rare when he's not. Ghost host with 47 months. Thank you, man. The baby, the, the baby was born. It was the shadow baby because shadow was cucking. <gasps> That's why he's beating her and get and, and drinking because she fucking cucked him with shadow. <gasps> this is a masterpiece. This is what would happen if a machine learning algorithm was given every single Sonic fanfic and told to make an animation. Dude, so true. So fucking true. Like they did with the Harry... Remember the Harry Potter book? Like they, they gave the fucking AI all the Harry Potter books and it wrote like a fucking demented like Harry Potter book. Which was only slightly less demented than like the actual fucking writings of J.K. Rowling. Dude, listen to the sound effect. Right, and then the kid, and then there's like a, li a little bit of child abuse. He gives him the five finger Sicilian, <laughs> Sicilian style. <laughs> five fingers Mobius style. He does, yeah. He, he... Big mom from the house. It's not her fault. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> shut the shut up. Why does this exist? What has happened to our world? Our world is broken. 
You know that, right? Our world is so broken. This fucking civilization is fucked. Humanity has failed. Human the, the human experiment has been a resounding failure. Italian the hedgehog. Roger said. Sicilian the hedgehog. Society is fucked. This shit has millions of views on YouTube. Show this to a Victorian child. <laughs> Please, sir, may I have some more? You want some more shitty fucking Sonic Elsa gate? Alright, so listen, I thought that that clip was extremely relevant to our interests here tonight, so I decided to share it with you. Um, but I'm not done. Um, we got, we got another, like, two hours to kill before... Fecal Funny is going to take over, so I think, um, we should keep reading. I got some more fix, right? In about an hour, enough time to watch four Sonic videos. Um... Hey, Stamos, what's up, man? Next Warren's episode. Me and Fred talked about that somewhat recently. Um, he's very, very busy with his uh, his latest rabbit hole video. And um, he he likes to do things in a very specific way. Like if he wants to do that, he wants to he wants that to be um, he wants to give that a lot more focus than he would be able to give that right now. So that's where that's where he's at with that. Um, he's just not ready to do another one. Uh, Taco, thank you for four months, man. Um, and yeah, his next video is going to be a, a, a doozy beyond all doozies. A hell of a, of a doozy. Uh, okay, so... I do have another one. It's it's very stupid. It's very stupid. Um, it's called Knuckles X Rouge. Now I'm a little bit excited about this because I actually think that this is going to be a first for the channel. Like I don't I don't think we've actually done a, a Knuckles X Rouge, Rouge uh, uh, fucking story. So uh, get fucking hype for that. Uh, Knuckles was practicing his punching skills while watching the Master Emerald. He threw uppercuts, side punches, and regular ones. Oh, regular ones. Is that a uh, boxing term? or what? Regular ones. Okay. Uh, regular ones. I hope nothing bad happens. We'll see. Um, side punches. Those are called hooks. Regular ones. Straights and jabs. I know this because of that boxing game that I that I that I used to exercise. Today, Knuckles was also gonna work out, although he was literally the strongest in Mo Mobius. He couldn't punch through or pick up everything. Knuckles got to push-ups. All right, I gotta, <clears throat> yeah, I gotta try for the Idris Elba. <clears throat> 10,000 would be good. I only reach 1,000, so let's have a new goal. That's not bad. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Okay, it's pretty fucking bad, but it could be worse. That could be worse. Idris Elba, Knuckles. This is what he said. Sa he sounds like this. He sounds like this. This is the worst Idris impression I've ever heard. Fuck you. This is how I remember it from the movie. It was. It was kind of. It was kind of caveman-y. I, I, it was. I don't know. I, it, Mitzi Marcella, thank you for eight months, man. Um, thank you. 
Um, Rouge was watching Knuckles from a nearby tree, amazed by his goals and strength. She had landed on the ground with a soft tap. That came from her high heels and the temple. What a fucking stupid way to fucking say that. Holy shit. It was weird. It sounded like English wasn't his first language. I think he wanted to... Yeah, he wanted to give Knuckles like an accent. Like he wanted to have it be like... Yeah, basically like English wasn't his first language. I think that's what he was going for. That's what it sounded like to me, anyway. Um. You sound like you're fitting an entire train in your mouth, Goya says. Worf? Oh my god. It, Dude. Dude, his Knuckles voice... I it, it a little a little worthy. I can hear that. It's it's a little worthy. It was a little worthy. Worthy. No honor. No honor. Yeah, yeah. It's a little. It was a little worthy. You're right. It was a little worthy. A little worthy. Although Knuckles heard it, he kept doing what he was doing, ignoring the fact that she was there. Although she came for a reason. What do you need, Rouge? Rouge sat down and looked at the emerald. She smiled at Knuckles. Aren't you gonna say hi? She wanted to get Knuckles livid. Only because she loved his act when he was... Oh. Hi, Rouge. How are you doing? He asked angrily. Knuckles looked up at Rouge, who was watching him with a smile. Her finger was twirling on the temple's side. Why do you keep saying shit stupid? Knuckles quickly looked back down with a blush. Rouge seemed a bit weird. I need your help with something. It's an emergency. Your friends asked me to get you. They said it was an emergency. Yeah, you said that. Is this machine translated? <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> right. Help me, I'm stuck in the bathtub like William Howard Taft. Knuckles looked at her breaking a sweat. This was his 1100th push-up. He was gonna make it. Wag me! Oh, what is the emergency? Knuckles asked, breathing harder on every push-up. Rouge walked over and sat on his back. IDK! Knuckles kept going angrily since she was on his back while working out. Knuckles struggled getting up a few times, but them got used to the extra weight. You do your workouts fast. Already at 7,000. Rouge said, twirling her finger on Knuckles' back. Stop twirling your finger on shit! She laid on his back. Soon as Knuckles made it to 10,000 push-ups, <laughs> he stood up. What do you think the wait, well, what's the world record for push-ups? Like it's maybe maybe like 8,000, right? Two. <laughs> At least 3. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Chunky Google that. Mike, the record is 10,000. Knuckles said it in 2021. Stop! The world record is actually 10,000. Lars, that's the second time you Googled something for me tonight. Thank you, bud. 10,000 is how many Knuckles did. It's 10,507. Knuckles almost... Dude, on a regular workout, Knuckles does the world rec the world record. You do your workouts fast. I think that's pretty cool. She said, twirling his finger around his fucking anus.
Soon as Knuckles made it to 10,000, he stood up, making Rouge fall into the hard temple. Stop with this temple shit. Did you just say floor? Knuckles breathed heavily. His arms ached a bit, just a little bit. And his veins were showing. Knuckles, and where to? What? Where are my friends? Rouge rubbed her head looking at Knuckles. She mumbled. A red god! She covered her mouth barely with her fingers. She stood up and sat her hand on Knuckles' shoulder. They were at the restaurant downtown. Knuckles chuckled. But, but he's not supposed to do that! Wait a minute. What? What do you mean he chuckled? What? Does this person even know who they're fucking writing about? Back to lay food we go. Lay food. I'm literally shaking and crying. He doesn't chuckle. What the fuck? Knuckles would never. He would never do that. He would never do that. He would never chuckle. No. No. Fuck the cannon, I guess. I don't get why they need me, though. Rouge observed his muscular body. Immersion destroyed. Rouge observed his muscular body. Almost touch his abs lightly. Abs, like in that video. Stop giving these characters abs. It's fucking terrifying. Stop! Stop it! Knuckles looked down at her and jumped away. They keep trying to fucking do this. What are you doing? Rouge blushed. Nothing. Knuckles rolled his eyes, ready to go help his so-called friends. Take me to them. Rouge nodded and walked over to Knuckles. Can I pick Carrie Yo there? Knuckles blushed and scratched his neck. He don't have a neck. We talked about that earlier. I... I can fly. <laughs> Did Rouge just have a stroke? <laughs> yeah, yeah, fuck. <laughs> I, I don't know, man. I... <laughs> He also, that's that's a good point. He can't glide. He can fly. Her tits are too heavy. Yeah, we talked about that during the Sonic Heroes playthrough. We actually talked about that way too much during that Sonic Heroes playthrough. Rouge rubbed her fingers on his abs. Then up to his neck, wrapping her arms around him. Okay, cutie. She then ran and went flying. Knuckles followed a bit embarrassed. He ran and then took flight. You're batty. <laughs> this is too hot. I know. You know, maybe we, we get... I was going to put up the bunk gif but i can't find it so i um uh all right i think is this uh, this might be the gif hold on a sec all right wait not that one that's just gonna make people hornier god damn it um son of a bitch uh Okay, I got it. There we go. Okay. I got it. Crisis averted. Crisis averted. It's all good. Keep the shadow at 5% transparency. 
She giggled to herself as she flew in the air, playing around. Love wins. <laughs> her smile was bright and beautiful. Her teeth were clean and white. What a strange detail. She was an angel. Do I still have the vag hog? No. I, maybe. I, I don't know. My It's on my fucking dumpster fire of a desktop somewhere. She was an angel. She is anatomically closer to an angel than she is to a, a uh, fucking bat. All right. Granted, not a biblically correct angel. Knuckles chuckled again. Again. Knuckles chuckled at the sight of this. Be not afraid. Knuckles chuckled at the sight of this once they landed. This person doesn't know these characters at all. Like... Once they landed, Knuckles ran right inside. Forgetting to put on a shirt. Before they left, he only had pants. But he doesn't wear pants, I thought. And he was sagging a little? You're looking a little saggy, King. Uh, let me hold my, hold your balls for you, King. His he pulled his pants up. <laughs> females looked at Knuckles, giggling and blushing. Most f females took photos and recorded. Some men were angry. Chads and Stacys. Females, feeboids, yes, feeboids. Femoids, bro. Knuckles looked around and saw his friends. Rouge was following him. What's the problem? Knuckles asked. Rouge grabbed onto his arm. Yeah. What is it? Sonic took out a bill. Ha! <laughs> we forgot to bring our wallets? Sonic shrugged and gave it to Knuckles and Rouge. Knuckles looked at it in anger. $1,010 based off food? What in the world is wrong with y'all? I'm not paying for this! What's happening here? If you've been following the logic of the story, which if you're not, I don't blame you because it's fucking insane and makes no sense. Sonic and f whoever else is here, Sonic and friends, okay? They sent Rouge to go get Knuckles and bring him back here because they want him to pay for their food. Like, they made him come to the restaurant to pay their bill. They ate without him. And now they're like, Knuckles, please pay for us. It's like the opposite of the dine and dash, like what happened at Lay Food earlier tonight. Lay Food is, is very a very expensive restaurant. I wonder if the food's good. You think it's worth it? How? Knuckles is a broke moron. What is wrong with y'all? I'm not paying for this. <laughs> That's great. He didn't even eat. He didn't even eat. He just got here. Rouge chuckled at his behavior. A few men stood up and walked upon Knuckles. A Jotaro moment. I don't remember that part. It sounds Jojo-esque. It does. It does. They walked upon him. I'm, I'm, I'm willing to bet you that what they meant was that the men walked up on him. Not walked upon him. Right. 
Like they didn't literally step on him. They just walked up to him and they're like, all right, let's, you know, let's do something, right? <laughs> right, I remember Jotaro. Like he'll, he'll dine and dash if the food is bad. Like he just walks out. But he doesn't walk out. Like just fucking like Joseph ends up having to pay for everything. One moved Rouge out the way, slamming her into the wall. Knuckles gasped and angrily turned around. Grr, what do you want? He looked at Rouge, had slightly fainted. He walked over and slowly picked her up. He sat her on a nearby table. We want to test your strength to see if you're as strong as you look. If you win, we will pay for these guys' meal. The guys pulled Knuckles by his arm. I insist. What the fuck is this logic? Like, what? What? what is this? Lo these guys? Okay, so the fight. We're gonna fight you. If you, if you win the fight, we will pay for these other people, for your friend's food, even though... This is so good. So good. Knuckles angrily pulled back his arm. He followed the strangers outside. Rouge lightly woke up with Amy and Tails trying to cool her down. Dude, he's going out. This is like a shitty parody version of Roadhouse. Or, you know, like, a scene from the actual fucking Sonic movies. Like, isn't this on ironic? Like, this, this, this something, like, this is kind of something that would happen in those movies. This is kind of something that would happen. No? Like, like... Remember when Sonic got in a fucking, like, started a fist fight at the fucking, like, at the, at the trucker bar? Remember? My, is this the leaked Sonic 3 script? Instead of Roadhouse, Roadkill. Are you okay, Rouge? Are you okay, Rouge? Tails asked as he helped her sit up. She looked at Tails and nodded. Nodders. I'm fine, but what about Knuckles? Where is he? Tails laughed a bit. Fighting for free food. Rouge rolled her eyes. She stood up and went outside, followed by Tails and Amy. He didn't even eat again. People surrounded the fight. Ten men against one. Cameras were faced at the fight, ready to get it live, too. Rouge watched the fight and got and got hold back by Tails and Amy. This isn't fair. Knuckles could get hurt. She said, looking at Knuckles. Amy and Tails tapped Rouge. It's okay. He's one of the smartest and strongest fighters we know and he's also the first member of the dk crew skelify thank you for the sub chat that's another fresh freak uh give him a freakish welcome if, if you don't mind guys he will be okay knuckles looked at her a straight face he was ready to fight he looked back at the 10 men Bring me all you got, Knuckles said, watching each one. Some people recorded Rouge. A light tear fell down her face. But what if everything turns left? Yeah, what, what if? Everything turns left. Yeah, like, goes wrong, maybe? 
goes south. Oh my god, they meant goes south. Oh, oof. Oh, man. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe English wasn't their first language. Guys, what if it was? What if it was, though? Going left is also a saying for going wrong. No, it's not. August XD lol with 14 months. Thank you so much, buddy. Mike, can you say something to freak out my partner watching your stream on the TV? Uh, the calls are coming from inside the house. Parasite host. Thank you for five months, man. Um, it's a phrase outside of New York. No, it's not. Stop. What if everything turns left? That's so bad. No, it isn't. Um, the first man, a tiger, ran up to Knuckles. They're great. He was a tall, muscular man. Tiger? Hey, at least it's not a puma. Taller than Knuckles. Knuckles looked up at the lion's face. But you just, you just said it was a tiger. You don't even fucking care about your own shit. The first man was a tiger, but his face was lion's. <laughs> Maybe he had. It was a tiger with a lion's face. Like, let's give him the benefit of the doubt. He's a shapeshifter. It's a liger! <laughs> a liger. Napoleon Dynamite strikes again tonight. No bell. Thank you for six months. Appreciate it. Knuckles looked up at the lion's face as he ran towards him with a punch. Knuckles blocked it, uppercutting him out the way. Next. Knuckles said, cockily, bored, but a bit amused by their confidence. Confidence. Three tall, muscular ones ran at Knuckles. Knuckles punched two behind him. Patrick Swayze is Knuckles the Echidna. The one in front smirked. I'm telling you, it's a roadhouse scene. Like, this is just roadhouse. They just fucking did, wrote like, like a roadhouse fight choreography. The one in front smirked. Knuckles' arms were then pulled back by the two. And he was punched in the chest and ribs. Knuckles! I have to tell you something. You're ugly. You're disgusting. I'm going to kill you. Give me $200. I actually pressed the wrong uh, the wrong button. It was... Damn, boy. Were you just frying chicken in there? <laughs> For real, though. You piss loud as fuck. I think that's pretty cool. That was the one I wanted to press. Rouge shouted terrified at the sight. Knuckles coughed up blood as he kicked one of them of his arm. As the one in front of his was about to punch Knuckles. Knuckles punched him with his one arm in the ribs. Knuckles punched the other one off his arm and into the sky. This is epic. Dunk pig with nine months. Thank you, bud. Sorry, but you had a bad day. Um, thanks for thanks for coming by. Amy and Tails cheered on Knuckles with a few other random strangers. Yeah, the ten thousand push-ups really paid off. <laughs> Knuckles spit out the blood that filled his mouth and waited for the next six men. Each of them got boxed, but the last one who confronted Knuckles was still standing. So, you're so strong and tough, eh? He asked as he punched Knuckles in the jaw. The face meat. He got punched in the face meat. Dirty laundry with four months. Thank you, bud. Love you too, man. Thank you. 
We got, yeah, Karlovich, we got the 20k, so the fanfic writing, writing thing is, is gonna happen, yeah. Um, Knuckles shook his head. The pain wore off quickly. Knuckles punched the guy in his face, then kicked him onto the ground. Hey, uh, Banner Air, I love how unnecessary this entire dispute is. I still don't know why it's happening. Do you? I, I, for the life of me, cannot figure out what the fuck is happening. These guys offered to pay for Sonic's food if Knuckles could beat them in a fight. Why? What? Hey, Viper Bro, they're saying, what's the goal? We, we typically, like, I, I don't like goals because it's like, I don't know, you feel butthurt if you don't reach it. To me, it's like, that's not the point. Charity is you fucking raise money. Any amount of money you raise is good. You know what I'm saying? Like that $100 goal is there just because you have to put something. And that's the default amount, I think. Right. Um, for Totify. It, it's, it's like, no, just, just. You raise what you raise, and you do what you do. Goal, goals will typically bring in more money. I don't... I, I There's something about goals I, I don't like. I don't, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. There's something about it that kind of like... It just rubs me a little wrong. I don't know. It's like... You, when, when you, when you want to do something good, you want to do it because you want to be a good person. You don't do it because... Or you want to do something good for somebody. You don't do it because... I don't know, you want something. I don't, I don't, I don't fucking know. I, I mean, that, 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 that's, that's stupid and convoluted, but I don't... What was I going to put? Like $50,000 and then... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why I, I think like that. Just, I don't see... Putting a goal to me is like... I don't know, I'll, I'll feel like I failed if I don't hit it. Does that, does that make sense? Nay say, I think, is how I'm going to pronounce that. Thank you so much for the sub. And chat has noticed it's a fresh freak. Thank you. Um, where, where was I? Sorry. Um, uh, Cosmic Cult says, I think a lot of people do charity so they can brag. I, you're not, you're not going to hear me brag. You're not going to see me brag. It's not why I'm doing this. I'm doing this because the news articles that I was reading every day about what's happening uh, to these people who, again, are non-combatants was, was genuinely fucking nauseating to me. And I said, I want to do something about that. I want to do some. I have to do something about that. Okay. Um, and let me just, I, I don't want to, I don't want to get into that topic because it's a super duper fucking mood killer. But if you don't know what's going on over there, I want you to just kind of imagine the worst fucking thing you, that you can. That's what's going on over there. Yeah. Yeah. If you're not following the news, if you're not following it, and I don't, I don't blame you. I don't fucking, I don't blame you for not wanting to follow that. But holy fucking shit. So that's why I'm, I'm, I'm doing this because I think in a lot of way, I've been, I've been, I've been lucky in many ways. Suave gentleman said, I said the worst thing you can imagine. He said, a jabroni mic stream? That's pretty funny, but read the room a little bit, ma'am. Um, man, that was really distracting and totally, totally took me off my fucking point that I was trying to make. Um, did anybody remember what the point that I was trying to make was the point. Oh, I've been lucky in a lot of ways. Um, and in, in this, in doing the, the, you know, the Twitch thing and, and shit. So I feel like, um, 
you have to put some good karma back out into the into the world. I don't know. You do do something good. If good comes to you, you should find a way to put that good back out there. Um, and that's part of why I feel like I want to do things like this. Um, you know, some people will say like, well, you know, it's it's just to make you feel better about yourself because, you know, you're a shallow person or you're, you know, you're, you're uh, whatever. Or, or some people like to say like, oh, well, you do this for clout. You know, we do, we do, you, you, you do this for clout because you want to get exposure or something like that. You want to fucking, you, you know, uh, you know, grow your career or, or something like that. Um, even, dude, in the event that any of that is true to any degree, to, for anybody who does charity events, do you realize that at the end of the day, it doesn't matter because people who need help are still going to get help. Make up a guy. You really think I have to make that guy up? You don't think that that guy exists? You really don't? But <laughs> there's, worse, <laughs> there's worse ways to get clout, somebody said. Right, right. Well, sadly, they exist. They exist in, 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 in droves, dude. Yeah, they, they exist in droves. Um. Get off the edgelord high horse. We just read a bunch of fucking Shadow the Hedgehog fanfics. I'm all edged up and ready to go. Uh, Nervous Bird says, I agree with you. I know a lot of people who boast about charity, but I'd also say the people that you're helping don't care if you gave that $50 anonymously or if you told everybody you know. Right. Yeah, exactly. All they know is like they're gonna get to eat or they're gonna get to have some some shelter or they're gonna get their fucking like diabetes medication. You know how fu fucking they're just diabetics dying because from 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 you know their diabetes their their blood sugar shit just because they can't get the medication. They can't get the medication right now because the fucking pharmacy has a fucking bomb in it. Like the fucking pharmacy got bombed. You understand that? That's the kind of shit that this charity deals with. You know, these people can't get fucking medication because they're in a fucking war zone, dude. You know? I did. I I read an article about that exact thing. That exact thing. This woman had to just leave her husband. He, he just he he died. He he died in in a, in a, in a, in, a, in a fucking shelter because they couldn't get his fucking medication. Hugbees is here. What's up, bud? Mike, this whole stream really isn't considerate of people who don't care about others, Mike. Come on now. That's right. I hadn't that I hadn't considered that a stream like this does not take into account the feelings of selfish narcissistic sociopaths. That's a really good point. Andrew, I hope you're having a good night, buddy. It's good to see you, man. Um the bot pogged. <laughs> I pogged. <laughs> um. Won't someone think of the unempathetic? Mike, this is offensive to people with small penises. I knew I was feeling offended by something, but I didn't know why. Well, hey, look. No matter what you do, you, you fucking offend somebody, right? And let me reiterate this one more time tonight. If you are worried that donating to this charity or, or you think that what I'm doing is, is like, or what we're, we're doing is like, oh, uh, wow, this is like not cool. It, it's, it's fucking contributing to a war. You're just wrong. Please look up the difference between humanitarian aid and lethal aid or 
I don't know, military aid. This is just for food and medical supplies for people who need it. That's what it is. Okay? That's what it is. Um, someone said you also shouldn't be worried about that because Ukraine needs guns. Yes, but we are not doing that. Is not our, that is not the responsibility of this fundraiser. That is not the responsibility of this. That is not, we're not going there. Whatever the fuck, that, that, that angle is, a, that's a different angle. That's not our angle. Okay. That's not our angle. So don't worry about that. Don't feel that way. This is only good stuff. This is not. That's a different, yeah, it's a different conversation. That's not us. That's not what we're doing. All right. So, you know, some people uh, are, yeah, some people are just are, are not are not getting that. Um, somehow, I don't, I don't know. Um, whatever. Uh, I fucking forgot what I wanted to fucking say, like on this topic, fucking, fucking motherfucker. I forgot what the fuck, fucking whatever. Forget it. Okay, you get it. You get the point. All right, you get the point. Um, good stuff. It's it's positive stuff. It is, you know, no matter no matter how I remember what I wanted to say. No matter how you feel about that situation, realize this is this this is a this that your your money is going to helping non-combatants, civilians, women, children, elderly people with food and medicine. People who are just trying to escape a war zone. And it's a good cause. And so please, if you're going to use this to make a political point, you're stupid. That's the point I'm trying to make. That's the point I'm trying to make. If you're going to use, thank you. If you're going to use this to make a political point, you're fucking stupid. You're fucking, you're, you're fucking stupid. You're, because that's not what this is about, okay? You're just, you're just fucking stupid. Um, anyway, back to the cringe. Someone said, let's get back to the cringe, please. I got so much cringe here for you. Our, our cringe plate runneth over. Um, Knuckles shook his head. The pain wore off quickly. Knuckles punched the guy in his face, then kicked him onto the ground. Uh, the guy quickly got back up. Never knew you could do something other than punch. Because he's, cause he's Knuckles and he always, you know, he always punches, right? He's, that's what he... Can't do anything. Can't do anything else, right? Um, Sam said, I'm sorry I came in halfway through the last thing and thought for a moment that somebody was using Sonic fan fiction as a political statement. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Sega tier joke. Cringetize me, Captain! Cringe me up, Scotty. Knuckles chuckled. The, the absolute disrespect for the fucking source material is infuriating and offensive. Knuckles chuckled. I can do way more than you think. I can do way more than you think. And he just starts sucking this guy off. The man punched Knuckles in the nose, causing it to bleed and for him to fall backwards. Oh no, not his black olive. Anon with 20 gift subs. Thank you so much, bud. I appreciate that. There has to be political Sonic fic. Yeah, you don't remember fucking Big the Cat X Obama? D Anon, thank you so much, man. Guys, dumpies, please. You don't remember Obigma? <laughs> 
<laughs> Remember when old Bigma got the Ligma? Rouge the Bat x Trump. Remember that one? When Rouge the Bat fucking squatted and pissed all over Donald Trump's chest in a fucking Moscow hotel room while it was recorded by the KGB. I remember that. You don't remember that, chat? Damn, boy. Were you just frying chicken in there? <laughs> For real, though. You piss loud as fuck. I think that's pretty cool. Yo, can somebody, like, make a mental note of that? That I that I want that in our fanfic, the PP tape, but with Rouge the Bat? Please, I want. I, that must be. That must be in the in the in the fucking. It has to be in there. Sonic x me files x Rouge x Obama equals Smegma. <laughs> <laughs> Willie with the gift sub. Thank you, bud. <laughs> the pee pee tip. <laughs> Nocturne said, "I'm sub. I'm on subbing. If you put that in there, I think." The last time I talked about Rouge the Bat pissing on Donald Trump, Nocturne came up and he, he sent he sent me a message and he said he said if I didn't get off he would stop sending me offerings. Well, I say keep your offerings. I'm gonna tell him to keep his offerings, okay? Because I'm gonna this is gonna speak the truth, okay? Keep your offerings. Take your sub. I don't want it. All right. He keeps telling me to get off the topic, but I'm not gonna get off the topic because Starbucks. Is putting semen in the coffee. Starbucks is putting semen in the milk. Starbucks has figured out. Has figured out. That if you put bat piss. In the coffee. People tend to like the taste. People tend to like it. So what? Rouge the bat pissed all over Donald Trump. Got all up in his comb over. Starbucks has figured it out. And the synthetic blend. Nocturne, please don't do that. To, don't don't do this to me. I need I need I, I you don't understand. I need this. Okay, I need this. You don't understand, dude. You gotta just let me. You gotta just let me have this. Never let this bit end. Don't worry, it won't. It's good. It's right up there with Gwen Stool Funny. I'll forget about it in a week. Gwen Stool Funny. He said if I didn't get off it, he, was, he wasn't going to give me his offerings. I said, keep your offerings. <laughs> Rouge watched feeling safer and having more trust in Knuckles. The man punched Knuckles in the chest while two other men pinned him to the floor. Hey, Jinx, thanks for coming. Uh, let's do it legally and safely, please. Hey, can you add Gwen Stefani yelling, that's my shit, that's my shit, in the corner while Rouge does the pee-pee? What a good fucking idea. Save these genius ideas for when we're actually writing the fic, because I'm going to forget these, okay? Blood was coughed up and running down his nose. Knuckles' vision got a bit blurry, but then he kicked the man with all he could. In the man's weak spot. Arg. The man said as he rolled around. Knuckles flipped his body to the opposite side of where he faced and threw the men nearly collapsing. Oh, yeah, I know what that meant so much. I mean, that made perfect sense to me, right? Like, I want to, like, read this another fucking, like, ten times to try to make it make sense. But I know that, that it's actually going to make less sense with each consecutive reading. So I'm not even going to bother. Rouge ran over to him, followed by Tails and Amy. Rouge held up Knuckles, carrying one arm to show he was a champion. People posted the video, screaming and roaring about how cool and strong he was. Rouge held him as he collapsed on her chest and fell asleep. Lucky. Forgetting to put a short on, 
Never seen him even wearing a shirt. Short. Shirt. Bro, I have a push-ups test in two days from school. I need 15 to get 100 and 5 to pass the test. I do too. Sonic, the fastest thing alive, yet he can't run home for his wallet. Okay, then. <laughs> That's actually a good... It's actually a good point. Or he could use one of those fucking rings from the movies. All because Sonic and everyone else couldn't pay. Jeez, maybe they should bring some money next time. Although I'm excited to see how the story unfolds. Bet you are. Oh, how the turntables. Okay, it's enough of that shit. Chapter 2 Knuckles woke up on a bed in a room he was not familiar with. Oh, there's so much more. And guys, this one gets a little bit steamy. Just letting you know. I have this on hand. All right, but prepare yourselves, all right? He sat up. As he sat up, he noticed an arm around him. He looked down and saw Rouge. He moved her hand and rolled to the side a bit. His body ached from yesterday. So did his muscles. Pain everywhere. R Rouge. So did his... Rouge laid peacefully on the bed, lightly blinking her eyes. Like she did in Sonic Heroes when she winks at the screen. She wore a tank top and some tights since she was working out before she went to bed. Knuckles, you're awake. Rouge sat up in bed and rubbed her eyes. Her eye. She smiled softly at Knuckles. Knuckles stared at her in disbelief. Thoughts floated in Knuckles' mind as he stared up at her. Why am I in bed with Rouge? Why am I in her house? Is the Master Emerald okay? Why is she wearing that with me in this bed? Yes, I'm awake, Knuckles said, concerned. He tried to sit up, but his body said other words. <coughs> Knuckles groaned as the liquid shit ran down his leg and stained the bedsheets deeply. Rouge pushed Knuckles down softly. Lay down, sweetie. Your body needs to rest. Do Knuckles shit the bed? Confirmed? <laughs> Tags. <laughs> Scat. <laughs> he sharded, bro. He gambled on a fart. Yeah, he's, he's like about to have sex, but he's more worried about the Master Emerald. Oomph, Master Emerald, oomph. That one was a live round. He got through that in entire like epic fight choreography scene without shitting himself and he shits himself now, that's embarrassing. Knuckles rolled his eyes. I ate your sweetie, got that? He shouted angrily. Why am I here anyways? I should be at home. Protecting the emerald, not in bed with an ugly bat. <laughs> Fucking got her. Oh, uh, based, based as fuck. She's hideous. Holy shit! Yes. Fucking sigma times ten. Sigma squared. Holy shit. Savage. Savage, yet appropriate. <laughs> you dropped this, Knuckles, and is a cr the crown emoji. <laughs> Not in bed with an ugly bat! She is fucking gross, guys. I'm sorry. Savage, yet appropriate. Tough, but fair. Right. 
Knuckles screamed. Rouge gasped and covered her mouth, getting out of bed. Knuckles, no noticing. What he said felt bad. R Rouge, I, I didn't. Rouge threw a pillow at Knuckles. Shut up! Rouge started to hit him with the pillow, as if it was a pillow fight. I was trying to help you, Knuckles, but all you do is be mean to me. I gave you the rest you don't get every day. I watched the Emerald, got a few friends to watch it. I took you into my home. I even cared for you. Tears slid down Rouge's face. She watched the Emerald for him, though. That's big. That's big. She's a keeper, maybe. But you'd still you still be rude to me. Rouge collapsed on Knuckles' chest, the pillow between them. Why do you keep being mean to me? Knuckles pat her back and was shocked. Honestly, Rouge did take care of him. She did give him the rest he never gets. He got him a safe place. She even got people to do his job. And he was rude. Ugly bat. More like the most beautiful and smartest bat I've ever met. Ellipses. Well, only bat. Knuckles rubbed the back of he head. Crown rescinded. <laughs> His fall from grace was rapid and swift and fucking far. Have you ever seen somebody go from Sigma to Beta this quickly? I haven't. Rouge. But then the horny attacked. He didn't know how to explain or express how sorry he was. He just, he was used to being rude to Rouge. He never thought it would come down to this. But what you think ain't always true. So fucking poignant. I want that on my headstone. Like that, that is epic. That is very deep, yeah. That's super deep. Sundare Knuckles. I'm sorry. You're not an ugly bat. You're a smart, beautiful one. You did what most people wouldn't. You cared for me. You watched over the only thing I got left. A huge memory of my family. The Master Emerald. You're not an ugly bat. You're a s smart, beautiful one. Dude, what a fucking Romeo he is. Holy shit. Marry him. Marry him right now. Yeah, I see you saying. I'm sorry. You're not an ugly bat. You're a smart, beautiful one. You did what most people wouldn't. You cared for me. You are gay. Why are you gay? Rouge lifted her face, looking at Knuckles. Her makeup slid down her cheeks with her tears. Knuckles slightly smiled and hugged her, using the strength left in him. Then why are you so mean to me? I... I'm used to us fighting a lot. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Rouge lifted her head and nodded. I... I forgive you, Knuckles. Knuckles smiled. He slowly lifted himself up. Rouge giggled, about to tease Knuckles. I love you, honey. Knuckles turned red. He's already red! He's already red, and he chuckles, and he wears pants now? What the fuck is this person doing? Women more red. Oh my god, is this like fighting Ganon again in Link to the Past? Are you guys gonna gaslight me about the color red now? Or is it... No, he's red. Stop. He can't turn more red. No, he's he he can't he can't be more red. He's fully red. No. 
his face meat turned red. Okay, I could see that. But then they, they should have said that then. Knuckles is purple, dude. What are you talking about? Stop trying to gaslight me on a fucking charity stream. This is a charity stream. Cut that out, okay? Fucking gaslight me while we're trying to raise money for charity. You fucking people have no shame. Knuckles turned red. He looked at her and looked away. He mumbled, I love you, Tutu. Rouge smiles, hearing Knuckles with her large breasts. Okay, I'm sorry, that doesn't say that. Rouge smiles, hearing Knuckles with her large bat ears. She walked off and blushed. Knuckles said he loved her, what a thought. Yo, what, what, what was that? That ASCII? Hold on. It says the word cum. <laughs> okay. At night. Knuckles had been in bed trying to stand. He's been stretching, trying to get out of bed and etc. But Rouge refuses for him to do so. Say ah, uh, Rouge said with a fork of chicken in her hands. A fork of chicken, guys? Knuckles frowned. I can feed myself. Here comes the airplane. Rouge. A fork of chicken. I'm imagining like... Billy Mays here. I got a new product for you to check out. It's a fucking fork made out of chicken. That's right. We got utensils made out of chicken. We got chicken spoons, chicken knives, chicken spatulas. Billy Mays here with chicken fork. Damn, boy. You pissed so loud. Are you forking chicken in there? <laughs> Chicken pots, chicken pens, easy to clean, easy to fuck. Easy to fuck. What does that mean? This is a snake oil submission. Let's face it. You need chicken, but you also need utensils. May I present to you fork of chicken. That's right, chicken fork. The only fork that's also chicken. Let's face it. Rouge raised an eyebrow at Knuckles. Say ah. Uh. Knuckles rolled his eyes and widened his mouth as she set the food in it. There you go, cutie. Look at you. Listening to your mommy. Let's get that going real quick. It's called the chork. I like that. Buy chork today or go fuck yourself. Oh, you said fork yourself. Knuckles blushed and crossed his arms. No, no, don't say that. I am not a child. Rouge rolled he eyes playfully and set the plate to the side. Then let's see. Knuckles watched her puzzled. Rouge took off her shirt, and Knuckles closed his eyes. He opened them slowly to see Rouge in a sport bra. What? What are you doing? Rouge giggled. It's hot. I can't watch a horror movie when I'm hot. Knuckles quickly hopped out bed. The pain had... went away? Yes, finally. Dude, what horror movie? Knuckles thought as he looked at Rouge. Well, I'm going back home. Like the horny made him not hurt anymore? Like it healed? It, maybe his, his pain was just like performative so he could get to see like Rouge's boobs, right? Sigma male using his horny to leave. His horny, like all the blood rushed to his dick? And it, like, totally distracted from all of his pain. 
Knuckles, you need to go check the Master Emerald right now. Dude, if you have sex with her, you will fucking spill your precious fucking cum and your tea count will plummet. Knuckles is a retainer. Absolutely, he retains. But now, I mean, I don't know, right? Like... I mean, who could retain in this situation? He walked towards the, towards the door, but Rouge grabbed his arm. Knuckles turned and looked at her. But, but, but Knuckles, can you watch the movie with me, please? Rouge looked at him, hoping he'd say yes. F fine, only because you took care of me. He sat on the bed and looked at the TV in front of him. Rouge went in the restroom and put on some panties? Question mark? Knuckles mouth dropped. What are you doing, Rouge? Put something on. Rouge got in the bed. I am. It's you. What? It's not sexy. That's just fucking stupid. That would destroy my boner. I I'm just gonna... Look ahead a little bit here. Okay, there's not, there's, there's not, there's, <laughs> there's nothing. No, there's nothing. It's fine. There's, there's not, there's nothing. There's nothing. No, she doesn't peg him. Maybe. Okay, look, it is, there's no, nothing happens. Okay, don't worry. She crawled onto Knuckles and set her head on his chest, snuggling. Knuckles looked away, blushing as Rouge grabbed her hand and set it on her thigh. Let's begin. Knuckles turned the movie on with the remote as they watched. Every scary scene, Rouge would squeeze Knuckles and scream a bit. Knuckles would chuckle! It's like they're trying to piss me off. It's like they're trying to piss me off. It's like they're trying to piss off everybody who knows these characters. Knuckles would chuckle and tell her it was all right. They were in the middle of the movie when some rated R stuff started happening. Ooh. Knuckles looked away and Rouge looked up at Knuckles. Knuckles, what's wrong, sweetie? Knuckles looked at her. Nothing. She unpaused the movie. Knuckles rubbed Rouge's thigh accidentally making Rouge bite her lip and moan a little. Rouge, I, I don't feel comfortable. Rouge nodded. Knuckles grabbed her thigh and looked at her. He bit his lip then kissed her. Knuckles, I love you. They moaned and into the night, without knowing, they mated. <laughs> Yeah, how do you, how do you mate without knowing they mated? <laughs> they mated. <laughs> they mated on the J.O. crystal, somebody said. Oh, the Master Emerald. Yeah. Someone in chat said, Knuckles has erectile dysfunction. Oh, here's how they did it without knowing. Because Knuckles doesn't know what sex is. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> this finna make me bust a nut umfi. Stop doing this! No one. Nat Geo Wild on my TV that I accidentally left open at 2.56 a.m. <laughs> This is Dr. David Attenborough, and welcome back to Planet Earth. Here we have the rare red echidna slowly, cautiously mounting the rare white Himalayan bat. Now, as you may be aware, this copulation serves no purpose, as it would be an interspecial copulation. 
although it does serve the purpose of making weirdos on the internet very horny. Though no offspring will be had. Knuckles is patient zero. Oh god. Chapter 3. In the morning. Knuckles woke up with Rouge on his chest. He lifted the blanket to get out of bed and saw Rouge in her suit from last night. What, the panties? The suit? He blushed and got out of bed. Rouge woke up and saw Knuckles. She sat up up. Hey, handsome. Good morning. Knuckles pulled his sagging pants up. Morning, Betsy. Rouge smiled and hopped out of bed. I'm going to take a shower. Knuckles nodded and watched her get some clothes. She looked at him before going in the shower. He probably doesn't know, but he's staring. That's rude. What? You want to join me? No, I don't shower. I'm a gamer. Sigma grind set. No time for soap. Knuckles chuckled and shook his head. Nope, I'm making breakfast. Here it is again, breakfast. He walked into the kitchen to get breakfast ready. I told you it's because you have breakfast in the morning after you have sex. That's why there's breakfast in every one of these stupid fucking things. Knuckles doesn't shower or wipe his ass because he knows if he puts his hand anywhere near his asshole, that makes him gay. So Amy is the Joker, Shadow is the Joker, and Knuckles is also the Joker. Jokers all around. Jokers to the left of me and clowns to the right. Here I am stuck in the middle with you. Later on, Knuckles was once again at home watching the Emerald. He had forgotten about the occasion that happened last night. He forgot about the sex. The mind-blowing sex. Although he thought about Rouge. Rouge, come over here and lie to me about seeing the Emerald. All because you want an excuse to see me. Rouge is so beautiful. I should respect her more. Her talents, her uniqueness, her fashion. Yeah, I guess the sex was kind of forgettable. Like it was fuck like it was so fucking lame, like he immediately forgot. Rouge is so Knuckles suddenly noticed that all he was talking about was Rouge. Why just Rouge? Why not how his friends were doing or other random stuff? Because he fell in love with her. The Master Emerald was off his mind right now. He didn't care about it once so ever he only cared about rouge he became rouge pilled mind so blown it blew his memory lobes off knuckles fell asleep during the sex charging chuck sex cool sentence structure oh yeah uh, I hope nobody expected good Sonic fanfics tonight. Rouge was at her friend's house, spending the night over with some girls discussing some stuff. Boys are so gross. They always disrespect us like trash and sometimes ignore us like Sonic. Amy said angrily as she combed her hair, her quills be bouncing. And sometimes ignore us. Meh. I didn't read it angrily. I don't know what Blaze the Cat is going to sound like. What voice am I going to do for Blaze the Cat? Like what? Tails, I know, right? Like, Tails barely spends any time with cream. Like, who does he think he is? It's, it's, it's Alan Rickman. Yeah, Blaze the Cat's going to be Alan Rickman, guys. Blaze said as she started the fireplace, you get it because she's Blaze the cat and like fire is her purview. Easy target with four months. Thank you, buddy. Um, or Sally Acorn. Yeah, but we all know who gets the worst treatment when it comes to boys. <laughs> or the worst boy in a romance section. Sally said doing her nails. Rouge was daydreaming about Knuckles, about how nice and polite he was to her. Knuckles, Amy, Blaze, Cream, and Sally said, looking at Rouge. Rouge snapped out of it and smiled. She turned her head, looking left and right. 
Knuckles, where? The four girls looked at Rouge as she sighed and looked at the carpet twirling her finger. Okay, that, I read that as she's twirling her, her pubes. Like, she's just fucking playing with her pubes. Like, I just... Sorry, I mean... Um, okay, did you hear anything we said? Amy said, setting her brush on the table. Rouge looked up sad. No. Sally sat behind, beside Rouge. <laughs> What's wrong, Rouge? Yeah, did Knuckles hurt you? Because if he did, I ought to... What? No, he would never. He's such an angle. Rouge began to daydream as she spoke. <laughs> he could be pretty obtuse. Awkward and concerned eyes faced her. He's so strong and intelligent, kind and sweet. His abs hour just out. Fucking abs. Rouge stopped, embarrassed. She widened her eyes and scratched her neck, snapping out of it. Man, sounds like someone's in frickin' love. Yeah. yeah, did I hear something about abs? Amy said, giggling and sitting on the opposite side of Rouge. Cream and blaze followed. What has gotten you into Knuckles recently? The girls asked questionably. Well, Knuckles got into her, which got her into Knuckles. Right. She pegged them. You were right, chat. She pegged them. Yeah. Confirmed chat was right. Rouge pegged Knuckles. Sorry I doubted you, chat. Knuckles daydreamed, not noticing Sonic, Tails, Shadow, and Silver where they're talking around the fire. Knuckles looked at the moon with a big bright smile. He had a soft blush, chuckling sometimes at his own thoughts, making everyone confused. So, Knuckles, you've been sitting there for a while now, Sonic said, looking towards Knuckles' direction. Shadow nodded with everyone else. Hmm, I wonder what's with him. S Silver said, looking at the direction Sonic was. Shadow smirked. Yeah, I know the moon isn't that interesting. Everyone chuckled but Knuckles. What the fuck is this conversation? Maybe he got someone on his mind. A special someone, Tails said, looking at Shadow. I wonder who he could have on his mind. Maybe a f -f 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 female, Silver added. Everyone looked at him with a serious face. Silver, fucking leave before I beat the shit out of you. Uh, no, duh, Shadow said, rolling his eyes. <laughs> yeah, I don't think he's the gay type. <laughs> Tails said, chuckling. <laughs> I don't think he's the gay type like the rest of you. I got news for you. That means you're gay. Well, what female does he like so much that it has made our friend daydream all day about her? Sonic asked. Amy? No, she's not Knuckles' type. She is annoying. What about Blaze? No, she's too relaxed and complicated. I think Knuckles would be more into strong type. Silver said, looking at the fire, trying to think. There's only one other female character! F stop! Yeah, like rude and a bit sassy? But not too much sass. Well, not too little. We all know Sally is sassy. But not the strong type. Sussy. Sassy and sussy. Who do we know that is strong, Rouge? Knuckles hopped off the emerald and looked towards them. Everyone chuckled. Dude, you like Rouge. Knuckles rolled his eyes. I don't like that bat. Shadow rolled his eyes. Come sit over here and tell us why. Knuckles walked over and sat down. She's a thief. Tries to take the Master Emerald. She uses the Emerald as an excuse to see me. She's beautiful. 
and is very thoughtful. Knuckles blushed, covering his face, looking down. Fine, I do like her. This is just high school drama. Yeah, it fucking sucks. I took care of Knuckles, and man, he's so sweet. He called me smart, beautiful, intelligent. He let me feed him. Get you a man's who will let you feed him. We watched the movie. We... N-V-M. Rouge got herself some love last night. Are you guys dating yet? Sally asked with a big smile. She grabbed Rouge's hand. Please tell me you guys are. Sadly, no. Call him. Nope. Do it. Nope. Don't know his number. It's okay. I got Sonics who can give me his number. This fucking blows. Sally texted Sonic. Hey, Sonic, can I have Knuckles' number? Sonic's phone rang and he picked it up. Who is it? Tails asked. Sally, she, she wants... Knuckles' number. Knuckles rose an eyebrow. Why my number? Knuckles, unironically, completely forgot the sex. He doesn't even remember like what they were just talking about. Shadow rolled his eyes. They're having one of their slumber parties. They probably need it for girl talk. Knuckles rolled his eyes. Give it to him. Sure, Sally. 210-110 fist. Do you need a fist in a gif? Call 210-110 fist. Fists to go. Any time of day, any time of night. Boy, I sure could use a fist. Well, no problem, old buddy. Could we have the fist for you? 210-110 fist. To get fisted today. Do you need a fist in a gif? Thanks, Sonic. No problem. Weird if you ask me. Sally smiled at Rouge. Here you go. Here you go. Rouge grabbed the pillow and squeezed it. She blushed and hid her face. Rouge, you should... You obviously are dying over him. Fine, I'll click call and you talk. No, Rouge shouted. Sally clicked it and held the phone, phone to Rouge's ear. This is pissing me off. I thought dying over him was something that is only being said in my country. Apparently it's not. Sonic is gay. Confirmed. Confirmed. Yeah, this was just like a, like a filler chapter, right? Okay, fucking whatever. Rouge gulped as she waited to hear the phone get picked up. Her heart beat went fast and quick. She was nervous. Knuckles heard his phone ring and looked down. This is probably Sally. Everyone nodded. Answer it, dude. So L Lucio said, this is like an Alzheimer's awareness story. Rouge grabbed the phone away from Sally and hung up. I can't do it. Sally rolled her eyes. Yes, you can. Let's give it another try. That was weird. No one answered. Sonic chuckled. Girls will be girls. Not that I know anything about that, because I'm mega into cock. Yeah, cool. <laughs> yep, it's cock. Love it. Shadow nodded. Yeah. Tails ate his s'mores and watched. Knuckles' phone rang again. Oh, okay. Here they go again. Tails chuckled. Give him a chance. Knuckles answered. Hello? Sally smiled. Hello, Knuckles. Sorry for hanging up on you. My friend wanted to discuss something with you and just didn't know what to say, but now she does. Yeah, it's like fucking like fifth graders. Like, like this is... Knuckles' eyes widened and stood up. Chekhov's s'mores. The berries. It's like the berries. 
This is, there is zero tension in this story written by a 13 year old. I am absolutely disappointed. Zero out of 10. Well, you know what? The reason for the season is the direct relief charity for Ukrainian refugees. We're currently almost at 21K, which is pretty awesome. So, um, let's, let's, let's focus on that. Um, cause yes, this, this, this sucks. Um, but don't worry, it's, it's almost over because in about 30 minutes, we will be free from this hell, all of us. And Joel is going to do something fucking wacky, so. It's all good. Um. I, I happen to know that there is... Oh, there's only one. Okay, yeah. Okay, all right. All right. Now, this, 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 there is more dumb shit in here. It's just sometimes with these fanfics, you really do just have to muck through the dog shit to get to like the good stuff. Um, I'm doing good. I'm hanging out with the dudes. How about you? Are you okay? Do you need help with anything? If you do, I. Sonic and Shadow looked at Knuckles with a straight face. Knuckles shuts his mouth and looks away. No, I'm okay, Knuckles. I just wanted to know if you... Rouge looks at the girls, and they are all either nodding or have thumbs up their asses. To know what? Knuckles asked, tapping his foot. If you would like to go on a date sometime soon, Rouge blushed, blushed and smiled. But they already made it. Like, doesn't that mean that, like, they're dating if they're mating? That's not really how that works. Maybe Knuckles is just a fuckboy and Rouge is just, like, a fuck girl. I don't know. Fuck buddies. Yeah, he's already in. Like, Knuckles, why are you, um, what, what's the expression? Why are you buying the cow when you can have the milk for free, dude? Mike, they already fucked, but they did it accidentally. Knuckles is a hit it and quit it type of guy. I would love to. Rouge jumped into the air in joy. See you tomorrow at 7 p.m. at your place. Bye-bye, sweetie. She ended the call and cried in happy tears. Oh my god. Knuckles said yes. Knuckles blushed and sat down, frozen. Dude, you got yourself a date? Yes. Yes, I do. Meanwhile, everyone celebrated happily, ready for the big day. Knuckles fell asleep in his bed, thinking of Rouge. He thought of stuff to do together. Maybe a nice romantic tour around Angel Island. Hmm, not a bad idea. Rouge laid in bed with a bright smile. Knuckles, she said as she drifted off to sleep. I love you. Sorry this chapter is short, but it's worth it. Are you talking about the one that we just read? Because it was long and not worth it. Frickin' whoa! Like, what are you talking- Like, it was the opposite of everything you said. Like, what is it, fucking the Upside Down Day? What- What is it, Topsy Turvy Day? Oh, and I cannot stress this enough. Whoa! Morning. Knuckles was already up before Rouge. He was getting the island ready for their date. That's at 7 p.m. Knuckles had stopped once, finished. He sat on the Master Emerald, thinking of Rouge. See, he sat on it, and as it got lodged up his ass, it reminded him of the way that she pegged him that night. Rouge was just awakening. She was eating breakfast. And about to visit Knuckles. Gun called he. Telling her she had a mission. It was going to last about a year. Knuckles, he's photocopying his ass on the Master Emerald. Yeah, he's leaving like ass prints on the Emerald. Just a whole different piece of my heart. Knuckles looked up at the sky and daydreamed. 
Rouge would be beautiful as always. Her nice, thoughtful personality would still his breath away. Rouge went to visit her friends instead. Since she had time, she would visit him when she had time before she left. She went to Sally's house and everyone was there, even the boys. No, oh, look who got a date with Knucklehead! Sonic chuckled. Rouge blushed, sitting down. One of a kind. Knuckles is one of a kind. Rouge smiled blushingly. And Sally took, shook her head. We should all go visit Knucklehead this morning. You know, to see if he's awake. Shadow rolled his eyes. Let's go then, okay. At Knuckles Place slash Angel Island. A lot of chuckling. One might say too much chuckling. Knuckles sat on the Master Emerald, and he didn't even hear everyone land. You know, because he's god-awful at guarding this emerald. Like, canonically, he just sucks at it, right? Rouge slowly walked upon him while everyone hid. She set her hands on his and sat by him. Hi, Knucklehead. Knuckles sees her. Hello, beautiful. Knuckles and Rouge stare at each other for quite some time. Knuckles stood up. Gorgeous as always. So what are you up here for? Not me, right? He chuckled to himself. Of course it's you. She jumped on Knuckles and wrapped her legs around him. And they fucked and everybody watched. You're too perfect not to visit. Rouge sh said as she kissed him suddenly. Knuckles chuckled. And kissed her back. He leaned her onto the emerald. They fucked on the emerald. This is like my old co-worker, co right? Who said he fucked on top of the, in, the, the pyramids in Egypt. Knuckles fucked on the master emerald confirmed. They then looked each other in the eyes. Oh, Knuckles, I wish this could never end. Everyone is watching. Cos475 is in chat pointing out that Tikal is inside the Master Emerald and sees everything. Dude, they're like having sex on the Master Emerald. Like Tikal is inside like, oh no! Like, horribly watching, like, as, as fucking, like, basically Rouge the Bat slugs all over this emerald. While Knuckles, like, bangs her from behind. Chad said, good. I want her to see. <laughs> I bet that doesn't tickle her fancy very much. Great. Chaos is in there, too. Just dripping. <laughs> He's just dripping. <sighs> Knuckles smiled and raised an eyebrow. Going to have to argue sometime, sweetheart. What? What an odd thing to say. What the fuck? Rouge giggled. Okay, Knucklehead. Knuckles sets her down. Don't be batty. He sits on the Master Emerald and looks at the sky. Rouge rolls her eyes playfully. I won't. Knuckles laughs. Yeah, don't try to take the Master Emerald. Seriously, I'll cave in your fucking skull and pop those tits like balloons. Rouge giggled. I'm afraid I can't do that, sweetie. Knuckles turns around and looks at her. He jumps off the Emerald. I guess I need to make you. Rouge backs away. If you can catch me. Rouge gets in the air, followed by Knuckles. Knuckles tackles her, and Rouge landed on back as he pinned her T the floor. Got you, Batsy. He leaned in and kissed her. They had a long, passionate kiss. Yeah, he loved birds. <laughs> Sally said, walking from behind the trees. Knuckles released from the kiss and saw Sally. Rouge waved. Sally laughed. You two will be a good couple. Knuckles blushed and looked away. He rolled his eyes playfully. 
Rouge smiled and jumped on Knuckles. She hugged him nice and tight. You're all mine. You're my emerald. Knuckles blushed. I ain't that expensive. To anyone who doesn't care, you're not. But you're all I want, all I need. She said, convulsing on the floor as she had a fucking grand mal seizure. That sent her to the fucking emergency room. You're special. Knuckles smiled. Rouge kissed his cheek and sat down beside him. Sonic and Shadow walked over. Knuckles, are you turning into a big softy? <laughs> you know, because of your erectile dysfunction. That Rouge definitely knows about by now. <laughs> Soft penis. Yeah, cool. <laughs> yep, flaccid cock. Great, Saya guy. Thank you for nine months, man. Oh, yeah. Now this is happening. Yeah. <laughs> Wispbones said, it's funny you say that because there is a sequel to this fic and Knuckles has a seizure in it. By the way, let's everybody thank Wispbones for finding these dog shit uh, fanfics for us to read. Thank you, Wisp. Um, what if we need your strength and you're over here, a husband and everything else, such as a father? Knuckles chuckled again. No, I'm stiff hard as a rock. But that isn't a bad idea. Stiff hard as a rock. Not me. I don't have erectile dysfunction. He looked at Rouge and raised an eyebrow. Wanna become a mother? Rouge looked away. Already am! Sonic sat down and Knuckles was confused. Shadow chuckled. Damn, Knuckles, someone got to her before you. Cucked. Knuckles rolled his eyes. No, the child is Knuckles. Since when? Nus Knuckles asked, shocked. Since scary movie night. Okay, so the child is Knuckles. Time travel? This story is deeper than we all thought. Right? Here it is, another blockbuster from fucking... Christopher Nolan. Two in one night. Knuckles becomes his own grandpa by going back in time and fucking his grandmother like Fry from Futurama. Grand Dad! Knuckles becomes his own granddad or some shit. Knuckles fucked himself and created a baby of himself. All right, so he. This, my friends, is how a single misplaced word or symbol can change the entire meaning of a sentence. I don't see how punctuation would have made us come to a different conclusion than fuck Knuckles is his own father or something. Yeah, he's his own dad. A posture. The child belongs to Knuckles. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. Knuckles looked at her awkwardly. Oh yeah, hee hee, I remember now. You wanted me to stay over just for a movie. Turned out all night. Ooh, Knuckles already doing his thing with sperm. I legitimately didn't understand what was happening. I thought it was time travel. I'm not kidding. I did not understand. 
Sonic nodded. <laughs> yep, already breeding. Yep. <laughs> yep, sperm. <laughs> Viable eggs. Yeah, cool. Wait a minute. Does that mean... Um... Wait, hold on a second. Wait, I don't think I like that very much at all. I'll see you in the third trimester, bitch! And you're not gonna like what I have for you! Sonic ran off angrily. Up to no good. That was fun. I'd go for round two any day. Maybe after the first child. Oh, we got a family here. Knuckles grinned. Rouge glanced at Knuckles. Knuckles back leaned on the emerald. His eyes closed. His arms crossed. The same old echidna that stole her heart. He opened one eye and saw, you know, because he only has one, and saw her. He smiled and then closed his eye. Knuckles. Yeah, Rouge? I gotta go. 3D print. Knuckles walked over to her and she did the same. They met and held hands. Really? Now? Rouge nodded sadly. Yeah, knucklehead, I got a mission. They told me this morning, sorry, I'm gonna miss you. What about fucking, like, maternity leave? Gun doesn't give maternity leave? Oh, it's definitely gonna be a vile, vile, rancid baby for sure. I'm gonna miss you more, beautiful. Knuckles kissed her, then they hugged. A tear fell down Knuckles' face. See you later, my love, and be safe. This is just like that fanfic we read where Wario gave... Robotnik the hot peach injection and he got Mpreg and then they had a baby and then and then Wario had to go off to World War 3 so he didn't get to see his baby grow up it was really sad she flapped her wings and went into the sky she spun in the clouds and wrote I love you Knuckles Knuckles started to cry Rouge come back soon please he shut his eyes and clutched his teeth clutch he then shouted, I love you too. Rouge had tears flow down her face and flew off. Knuckles opened his eyes. Te okay, we fuck. Everyone's crying. We get it. Knuckles looked at Sonic. I've never felt so happy. And now what brings me peace will be gone for a while. It's okay. Shadow will watch over her. Shadow nodded and chaos controlled to gun. He's definitely going to be banging her, dude. Sally cried. You two are so adorable. <laughs> now what brings me peace will be gone. Will be gone. <laughs> Knuckles. I, I like. I would like to see her fucking like stealing jewels and like slipping past fucking like, you know, motion sensor lasers and shit when she's fucking like seven months pregnant, dude. Knuckles looked at the sky. Till we meet again, take care of my child, Rouge. Rouge the Bat, I love you. I love you. End of book one. Oh my god, this was amazing. There was a bit of a typo, but aside from that, the story was clear and very, very entertaining. Great job. Not me, thinking Knuckles, said hard as a cock. Not me. I hate this fucking meme. Not me. Whatever that fuck, fuck, fuck this. Fuck this, like, not me, anything. Like, I hate it. I hate it. That was fucking painful. Yeah, that one hurt a lot. Yeah, that one, uh, that one got brutal. Towards the end. But good news. Uh, the fanfic reading portion of, uh, the weekend has ended. It is over. It's done. So, first of all, let me say thank you to everybody for raising 20,000 fucking buckaroos for Ukrainian refugees. That's fucking awesome, guys. Thank you so much. Um, you're doing a great thing, guys. Something to really, really feel good about. Something we, we could all, we could all feel, feel good about, guys. Um. You know, these people need help. Again, it's not political, all right? These people need to just, like, actually escape safely. You know, again, civilians, non-combatants, people, for the people struggling with that. Um, 
let me say thank you to everybody also for watching. Guys, thank you for watching tonight. Thank you for subjugating yourselves to this. Uh, thank you for um, tolerating this. And thank you for the subs and the resubs and the bits and, and the gift subs. There, there was quite a bit of that tonight, guys. I do appreciate it, even though would have I guess I would have preferred you put it in the charity. I, I do still got to eat, and I do appreciate it, guys. So thank you so much. Um, really means a lot. And for anybody who's who's new to the channel, you can find me on YouTube. You can find me on Twitter. You can find me on TikTok. Uh, there's a Patreon. There's all that shit. Links are in the chat right now. I can see them. Click them. You can see them on your screen. Right? Um, and guys, don't go anywhere. Stay fucking tuned. Stay tuned. Because in about 10 minutes, Joel's going to go live with something fucking nuts. Uh, and I'm going to send you all over to him. The, the party is still going. Stay tuned and gooned. Don't go anywhere. Don't touch that fucking dial. Uh... I'm going to raid him. So I'm going to basically wait for him to message me. Or if you see him go live, tell me. Chat. Uh, in the meantime, here is our schedule. Uh, I don't know how late Joel's going to go um, tonight. But tomorrow at 2 p.m. We'll be doing some multiplayer uh, tabletop simulator stuff. Uh, it'll be fun. Good stuff. Um, stupid shit. Uh, and then I'm, I'm going to go at 6 p.m. Same time as tonight. You'll notice it's the same block, same time. I'm going to go live with the much-anticipated Bunger Sex DLC for Bug Snacks. Hype. Hype. Get hype for that. And then Joel again after, afterwards. Um, and then Sunday, you can see we got, we got Limes. We got some Mario Kart on this channel. And then afterwards, uh, Vin's going to do something at 9 p.m. Uh, again, all time zones are Eastern. Just to be clear on that, you could see it on your screen. Now, while we are waiting for Joel to go live, let's check out the art. Uh, because we do have quite a bit of art tonight, guys. We have quite a bit of art. Uh, if we don't get if we don't get to all of it, then we don't get to all of it. But let's look at the, just a few. Uh, so. Whoops. Um, this one's from Goya's. Uh, you can see. Uh, Seaman Guzzler. He's putting a, a baked potato with the. Tin foil in the microwave, and it's it's an asshole move, but he's just also dying in the explosion. Um, I mean, who, who is this woman that he's always hanging out with? I'm confused. Thank you, guys. We have we have more. We have more. We have something from Carrion Dal. Uh, it's some J Chan art. I think a lot of you were happy to see Jay Chan tonight. I think a, a, a good number of you were also pretty disappointed to see Jay Chan tonight. <laughs> but why not? Um, Jabroni Chan, 40 year old alien, first ever batcher with a designer choker. She looks great, Karen. I love it. She's sassy as always. She looks super. Super, super fucking cute, man. I'm cute? <laughs> no, you're not cute. Not No, not you, J-Chan. Shut up. Um, we also got uh, something from Mintelect. This looks really cute. Uh, I guess it's me. And... There's some masks in the back. And look, the eye glasses are doing a shiny thing there. That's 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 cool. Mintelect, it's awesome. Thank you so much. 
And uh, we got something from Crunkerton. It says, the moment I saw the mansion pic when he scrolled through the fanfic, all I could think of was this. Now, I don't get this reference. Maybe some of you will, will get the reference. I don't know. Right, because Shadow lives at Nancy Pelosi's house, right? I see people lolling and Lameo. Okay, you guys get the you guys get the reference. I don't get the reference. I don't get it. I'm sure it's yeah. Chat's cracking the fuck up. Maybe I'll I, maybe I'll, I'll educate myself about it later. Um, but thank you, Crunkerton. This one's from GG Marvels, dude. Oh my god, epic, epic. Septic the shitlog fan art. Dreadnought with five months. Thank you, buddy. Love you too, man. Um, holy shit! Literally, he it's it's the art style from the Sonic Adventure jewel case and shit. Sonic Adventure style septic the shitlock. GG. I love him. We're definitely gonna use this art in the in the fanfic that we write. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna do that, dude. The the giant glove cuffs that these stupid fucking characters have are rolls of <laughs> rolls of toilet paper. <laughs> oh, I love that, GG. Thank you, Septic. The fucking shit log, bro. Here's another evil deed. Uh, this one's from Bone Boogity. Bone Boogity is getting in on the fun here with the uh, Seaman Guzzler's evil deeds. Boy, I love my car almost as much as I hate corn. And he put corn in the engine and then it created popcorn in the person's car. It's a corn bustion engine. Thank you, Bum Boogity. Plus two, that's fucking right. Plus two, that's right, plus two. That's right, plus two. Here's one from Punstar Tracer. This is, of course, a fun little meme of a uh, scourge in the car accident that killed his parents. Of course. You know, which he which, which he then got charged with their murder. <laughs> Afterwards, which is like, okay. This one's from Bun Time. It's actually really cute. You did this! Got him 15 years in prison. It's uh, really cute. Actually, just uh, Shad Amy art. Nothing cursed, nothing gross, nothing dumb. Just two cute characters being cute or whatever. I, I like that you didn't give him abs. I really appreciate you didn't give him abs. Uh, Joel is live. All right, I'm going to blast through these last three pieces. Bear Cow 96 gave us Kringo the manatee. I love him. Wake up, babe. New OC just dropped. Thank you. He's great. He's great. Based on something dumb I said earlier tonight. Felix gave us a really cool J Chan sketch. Thank you, buddy. And finally, from... Uh, Curry Mix. We got Jay Chan checking out a Shad Damey art. Back at it again. It hurts her just as much as it hurts you guys. Okay? And having said that, I'm going to kick you over to Joel. Guys, thank you again for all the support. Thank you for helping me raise these funds. Have an awesome night. Say hello to Joey for me. Uh, and good night, guys. Good night, everybody. Oh, go cry to cuckoo cachoo.